So we get told a, a word. A word gets um, said to us, uh, spoken to us, at the end of every dungeon. And I believe the last word that was uh, said to us was the word prairie. So I think today we're going to go over to uh, the prairie over here on the far right and see what we can see. Because we did the swamp. The swamp had the bottle grotto, which was the dungeon there. Obviously had the first um, one down here as well. Uh, Taltal Heights will be important soon, but I think the prairie will be a good start for sure. So, uh, yeah. Oh, first of all, though, let's have a chat with our good friend, Dompe, who we met last week. Uh, Dompe Shack this way, adventuring assistant wanted. Ooh. Tell them to screw you assholes on there. Nice, nice. Oh, I missed the hook. Ah, oh, sorry, big hugs. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, uh, I, I got into explaining mode. <laughs> Smiley face, you might have disturbing. Oh. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. All right, Dante. How you doing? Good seeing you. Got your other stuff squared away for right now. In that case, let's step into my shack. You have a shack? Oh, down here. Are you actually mad at me? <laughs> Please don't be mad at me. I just had a lot to do before stream. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Anyway, let's uh let's hop into his shack, shall we? Wait, is this actually his shack? He's not really got much of a shack down here. I don't know what he means by that. Oh, he's gone now. No, don't worry, I'm playing the game, I'm playing the game. Love you too. You're the best. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll settle down, don't you worry. Are you in the shack now? I suppose that's not his shack. I suppose his shack is somewhere else. Either way, let's go head to uh, the prairie and uh, see what we can find, if we even know how to get there. I don't know what I am doing today, so uh, give me a moment whilst I try and figure it out. Because I was going to try and rob this dude, but turns out I'm unable. Can I lift these rocks? I can lift these rocks. Fantastic! I can eat something slightly heavier than chickens. Hey kid, need a rock? Eight. Take that. Ooh, we can go in here though. Oh, interesting. There we go. And boop. And boop. This is how you deal with kids. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, and a chicken? Oh, God. Oh, no, that might be my death. Ooh. Ooh. Kid is a hard head. Yeah. I bet that the rock's made of nothing. Uh, alright. I don't remember this. Oh. Time for bed, guys! <laughs> Time for bed, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just all go, into, go to a random bed. There you go. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, hey guys, I'm here listening until I fall asleep. You guys sound like home? Aww. Hey, Jangela, how you doing? How you doing, my good friend? Hopefully you're well. Hopefully you're well. I would be angry if people told me to go screw myself as well. Yeah, I think I would as well. Uh, okay. How do we... So this is now my dream world, I guess. Um, this is interesting. But yeah, uh, yeah, let me know how you're doing today, Jangela. Hopefully you're well. Oh, God. Uh, oh, this is a weird dream. It is. I don't like this guy. Yeah. All right. Okay. And we can't get him to... Hmm. Can't get him to drop down there either. Interesting. Okay. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here? <laughs> All right. I did end up falling yesterday. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> all right, okay. Um, we'll send the kid in instead. Tear that, you vulgar. Right, let's go to the prairie, shall we? Is this the prairie right here? Uh, um, yes, Ukuku Prairie. Lovely. Sounds lovely indeed. All right, well, we'll leave that for now. I don't know what I should be doing there. See, like, I, I, I've obviously played this game, but it was a long, long time ago, so stuff like that... Very, very new to me, so please forgive me if I uh, seem a little dumb. I mean, this game will make me look as dumb as, well, more dumb than usual, I'll tell you that for nothing. Uh, this 
I believe it is a teleport stone, perhaps. Maybe? It is! Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. Interesting. Yeah, there we go. You never done, DJ? Oof. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I try my best not to be. <laughs> Alright, so I believe that's a teleport stone. Uh, okay, cool. But yeah, I try my best to be smart, but sometimes uh, it's a little difficult for me. You never played Zelda? Okay, okay. It's uh, it's fun. It's uh, very puzzly though. Uh, sometimes it makes a makes a bit of a mockery of you because you think, oh man, this puzzle's pretty easy, but uh, turns out uh, it's actually not. Uh, like for example, here. Oh, I can do this. I can do that. Can we push skulls? We can lift skulls. We can lift skulls, can't we? Yeah, that helps. All right, okay. I can get to that chest at the very least. Although I can't push that. Can I jump over there? I can, okay. All right, we can figure this out. We can figure this out. Let's lift that. Let's kill that. Let's push this. I'm a genius. Look at that. One puzzle done already. 50 rupees. Very nice. You're the smartest. We can eat them. Yeah, we can throw the skulls at least. But how do we get to this one down here, pray tell? Uh, I think we do this. I think we do this. I think we grab the skull. And then we get ourselves a quarter of a heart. So there you go. Just like I told you last week, pieces of heart. If you get four of them... Uh, you get a new heart piece, which is uh, good for health. And I'm going to need a lot of health today because I feel like I'm going to die a lot. Especially now I know that this game is actually counting my deaths. Alright, come here, you walking. Come here. Uh, right. Uh, let's go for an explore then. So, at the end of the dungeons, as I said, we get told um, a location, a, a word which kind of gives us a clue as to where we should be going next. And we heard the word. Um, we heard the word prairie. So, let's try this place and see what we can find. There you go. Take that. Take that. Stop jumping, you bugger. There you go. Come here. There you go. Puzzles are like. Just I'd end up getting bored of them because I'm consistently solving puzzles with cars. You to call them a little puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Now you'd be good at it, dude. You'd be good at it. Um, this game is, but we're not. <laughs> Aye, aye, for sure, for sure. Uh, anyway, we'll figure it all out. We'll figure it all out for sure. Right, so let's have a go down here, shall we? Oh, here we go. So, I imagine this is my next dungeon, but how do I get to it? I, of course, don't have the key. The game is counting your deaths, but we're not, is what I meant. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad we're not, because uh, I certainly, um, I certainly wouldn't have <laughs> actually, uh, wanted to count my own deaths because it would be a lot. But we've not died today, and that's the main thing. Ooh, what do we have down here, then? Richard's Villa. Let's go see Richard, shall we? Let's go see bloody Richard. Lovely, lovely Richard. Oh, hello. Richard likes his frogs. Oh, very fancy, lad. Oh. Yo. Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. <laughs> my servants went berserk, and I forced to flee to my well, flee to my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Sure thing. <laughs> Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. All right, pip pip and all of that. There you go, a fancy villa. It's not quite in Italy and it's full of frogs, but it'll do. Right, so we gotta go find some gold leaves for that fella. Uh, Cadillac Castle. Interesting, okay, okay. Uh, so we kind of know where a dungeon is. We don't have access to the back, um, back of his garden yet. But we still need a key. We can jump over these, I believe. There you go. There you go. Right, so this is the dungeon. But where do we find the key? 
Also, notice how the grass is in a particular pattern. That pattern being a little cross with a gap in the middle. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means. It means that hopefully something is underneath here. Uh, yeah, we got ourselves a secret shell. Very good indeed. But what do they do? What do you do with a shell? I don't know. I don't know. One day we'll find out. Right. Uh, let's carry on up here, I guess. So yeah, let's go look for a key. Let's go look for a dungeon. And uh, let's see if we can actually make some progress today. And hopefully not die. <laughs> I'm so conscious about dying now. Oh my god. Uh, alright, alright. Mush. Wow, you spit out bombs? That's news to me. Holy crap. Uh, Canalette Castle five minutes to the right. Interesting. Maybe we do have to go to Canalette Castle. Ow. Oh, maybe he has the key. I'm being fucked up there. I'm gonna leave that guy. That guy's way too OP. <laughs> it's a secret, can't tell you? Oh, God. Oh, God! Yes, KMS knows the secret. I don't. <laughs> Ooh, fancy castle, eh? Canalette Castle. Can't go in, though. He looks pretty tough up there. Interesting. So... He said do some digging. But... Oh, God, spiders. Oh, there's little spiders as well. I've already read this, haven't I? Oh, God, okay. All right, there's spiders coming out of this hole, and I don't appreciate that. All right, I'm out. I don't do spider rolls. I don't do spider rolls. Da -da 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 -da. All right, get you down, shield boys again. Yeah, friggin' spiders coming out of the hole, man. Don't like it. I don't like spiders coming out of the holes. It's not very nice. All right, let us continue. Ooh, is that an ice cream house? Oh my. Oh wait, no, it's a seashell house. <laughs> I thought it was an ice cream house. You look at it, like the little kind of cornet thing, and then underneath you've got like the white ice cream. Nah, it's a seashell house, of course. Seashell mansion. What sort of holes do you like? Not ones that spiders come out of. To be fair, yeah, yeah, you make a good point. <laughs> I am the spirit of the mansion. I have been waiting for someone. One who can overcome the darkness. Find the secret shells. Then ascends the platform. You will receive the ultimate sword. Sounds like you should come back with lots of shells and try standing on the platform. That's an interesting looking place. Hey, mighty. Yeah, seashell mansion. Cool, right? All right, so if we pop ourselves on here, it'll count how many seashells we've got. Hmm, no response. You must not have enough shells. Oh, feels bad, man. What's the acid green liquid on the right? Uh, I have no idea. I know what it's used for, and that is to kind of measure how many seashells we have, but uh, as for what it is exactly, I wouldn't like to know. <laughs> but hopefully you've had a good day today, Marty. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. We're going to die and get lost a lot today, so uh, hopefully you're into that. Um, oh, 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 another, another, another shell. There we go. Wow, sure. That is exactly what it is, Krogan. The, the shells excite the ghosts. <laughs> it's a little monkey. All right, monkey. Uh, bananas, bananas. Ooh, give to Kiki. Ooh. So you remember a long, long time ago, and by a long, long time ago, I mean the start of last week's stream, we did a very small trading quest, and we got stuck on bananas. But ahoy there, we found a monkey, famous for liking bananas. So here's some bananas. Bananas! Bananas! Ooh! Ooh! Kiki! Monkeys! Come repay him! Kiki! Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh. Hurry, lads. Oh! Oh, what are they doing? Oh, what are they doing? Oh, who knew that monkeys were so good at making bridges? Oh, monkey business. Done. Bye-bye. Ooh, Kiki. Lovely. 
I was a monkey in a past life, ladies and gentlemen. And we also got a stick! Such clever boys. Yeah, such clever good boys. <laughs> you found a stick! A monkey left behind! You take it. There you go, so I get a bridge. And I've got a stick now. Interesting, okay. So we're in Canalette Castle now. But I feel like I shouldn't be here. I'm looking for a key, remember? Now we can't... Ooh. Ooh. Secret tunnel. We can always use these telephone houses, by the way, if we do get a bit stuck. And I will use it if I do get stuck, because I do like to get stuck all the time. Uh, right, okay. Ready for this? Uh, right, we've got to jump. Here we go. Ready for this? Uh, look at that. What a pro. I like secrets? Yeah, same. Keebler elf houses? Yeah, this is where they make all of the... Oh my god, I've forgotten. Cookies? They make cookies, right? Did they? Gosh, spikes? I know, right? This place is a bloody death trap. Uh, all right, we're in. Yes, DJ Dagger, right? Nice. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, I feel like I'm now about to murder some guards. Ah, you can't beat me. Tear that, you bugger. Ah, guards have been murdered. Secret shell? No, okay. Yeah, Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Alright, calm down. Oh, tear that, you bugger. Tear that. Ah! Alright, we win. We win! Can creepers in Minecraft drop dirt for the dirt they exploded? I don't like having to take from another area to make my area look good again. Uh, pass. No idea. Maybe. Uh, wish I knew more about Minecraft. <laughs> What's this bird doing? Oh, you're a bad bird! You are a bad bird! Bad bird! Come down here. There you go. Ooh, golden feather! A uh, leaf, sorry. Oh, you found a golden leaf! That's one of the five. Nice! Bad bird, absolutely. <laughs> Can you play Alice make cookies and some hollow tree? Yeah, yeah. KMS told me about them last week. I was like, oh, that's really cool. I like that. Cookies taste terrible, though, and I can't eat them anyway. They taste terrible? Ooh. I don't know, man. They sound pretty fantastic to me. <laughs> Never had them, but they sound pretty fantastic. I mean, they're made from elves. How bad can they be? There you go. There you go. I think some of the dirty shots and some... Oh, you're doing Minecraft, right? Nice. Nice. Glad you are able to help, because I certainly don't know. <laughs> Alright, I wonder if I get to explore the inside of this castle, then. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Do you ever get that in video games where you... You, you started exploring, and you found a place which is really, really cool, but you feel like you should not be there at all. Like, did that in Mabel? I did do that in Mabel, yeah, I found that grand, uh, that grand maze, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, I certainly feel like I shouldn't be here, but it's a pretty cool place, so why don't we explore it as much as we can? That guy up there is looking proper stabby. Yeah, he's looking way too stabby for my liking. Take that, you bugger. There you go. Uh, I want to kill this... Oh, two... Oh, I'm in it now. I'm in it. So we met a guy called Richard who needed five gold leaves from Canalette Castle. I'm in it now. Like... I'm, I'm, I'm in it. We should just do this. <laughs> Is it Mabel? Oh, my God. Are you jealous, KMS? You... Oh, right, okay. No, I get it. I get it. No, Mabel in the Woods. It's a game. It's a video game. Uh, wait, did that drop on there? I thought that dropped on there. Alright, what have we got here? Swack them all with bombs? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, okay. I feel like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, all right. Oh, a third one! Oh, maybe I should be here. If I'm able to get to Richard, and he's able to tell me that he needs help by getting gold leaves from a place I have access to, then surely this is okay. <laughs> should really have a chance at innuendo. No, it was good, it was good. <laughs> I, I welcome all the innuendos. Uh, alright, okay, alright, let's, uh, let's, let's, 
I don't know, no. These enemies seem super, super OP as well, so... I don't know. Pray for me, guys. Pray for me. Friggin' pray for me, ladies and gentlemen. I think I need it. Alright, I've opened the front door. That's good, at least. Huh, it sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Great, but why would I want to leave when I've made so much progress? Let's go and see if we can find anything else. So we've got two broken walls here. We can use bombs. Bombs. Yes. Bombs. Boop, boop. And boop. Nope. Nope. Oh! Oh! That, that was a terrible result. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I, I didn't like any of that. <laughs> I, I didn't like any of that. Boop. Sit there. Yeah. Oh, another one. Nice. All right. Okay. Yeah. That was that was that was a pretty terrible result. But we got a golden leaf in the end. Remember, we need five. We've now found four. Four golden leaves found. Now we don't entirely. Oh, hello. Oh, he's going to have the last one, isn't he? Oh, look at Clovisaurus down there. Oh, he's ready to go. Look at him. He's got the golden armor, and he's swinging around like a maniac. All right, okay. Uh, how do we get down there? Maybe through here. He, he's gonna, he's defo gonna have it. He's gonna have it, isn't he? Okay. Uh, okay, I'd say here then. <sighs> do I really want to fight Golden Boy? I mean, I kind of have to, right? Oh! I don't know what that was. What did I just pick up? Yeah, kind of like castle. What did I just pick up? I don't know what I picked up, but it's fine. Uh, alright. Oh, wait. Wait, no. Okay, no, I did something wrong. How do I open the door, then? Do I throw a pot at it? I do. We're not supposed to throw a pot through there? Yeah, so it had a pot on the door. Alright. Alright. Oh, it actually breaks through my shield. It breaks through my shield. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. It, it looked like it broke through my shield. Oh god. We do have a fairy for this uh, exact situation. There we go. Okay, so fairies will recover health. There we go. We got it. Ow. Why do I hear Mario uh, taking damage? Uh, oh, when he went, ooh, yeah, it does sound a little Mario. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. That's fun. Um, yep, yeah, we got Owie. Yeah, we, we got a few Owies there, but, um, I, I think we did okay. So, yeah, I don't know what the strat would be. I guess not to be by a wall. Oh, they're saying that. It's giving me a lot of bombs. These, uh, these pots are dropping bombs, so maybe I was supposed to blow him up a wee bit. But that's fine. That's fine. We got there in the end. <laughs> but, yeah, it did sound a little Mario 64. That is funny. That is funny indeed. All right. Oh, don't stop me, you bugger. This is highly illegal. Leave me alone. Right. So, uh, no, that's not what I want. Uh, what do I want to do? There we go. Right. So, with the feathers that we've acquired for Richard, we can now hand them in. Now, I'm kind of hoping that he'll give us a key for the dungeon. If he gives us a key for the dungeon, then we're on our way. If not, then we're going to have to search for the dungeon key even more. We can go south, I think? So, yeah, I don't know. Pray for me. I have, I do wonder, though. He does have this massive back garden full of weeds. And there is a heart container in the top right. So maybe he's just going to allow me access there. I don't know. Fingers crossed for a key, though. So, Richard, I have returned, good sir. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ah, très bien! Oh, God, does French exist in this universe? The existence of France has been proven. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Shiro Boat and Sport DJ? 
Uh, I don't care for it, but as long as it's not overly obnoxious, it's fine. I'm more about actually playing the sport instead of showing off, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I don't mind it too much. Uh, why'd you ask, man? I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Indeed. Now move. Uh, now, move the statue and you will find your reward. Okay. Well, this one? Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, he's, oh, he's, got, a, he's got a sexy frog dungeon. Oh, no. Not a sexy frog dungeon. Oh, it's a sexy frog dungeon. Oh, see? Oh, God. It's a sexy frog dungeon. Uh... Alright, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh! I did it for a seashell. <laughs> I got a seashell. Great. Okay. So, watching a video of, uh, of a boxer after getting a good hit on a guy. Pretend he's wobbly because the guy he hit legs were wobbly, then got absolutely decked with a hook. Yeah, wrong time to do it. Wrong time to do it. Uh. Feel free to goof off after you score a goal in football. Feel free to goof off after you hit a century in cricket or whatever. Don't be, don't be dumb like that in, in the sport like that. I don't, know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just, I just, I just like it when people act proper. <laughs> All right, stay there, stay there. Really? Oh, skull crab. Yeah, they're learning. They're learning. Uh. How do I undress you then? Hmm. Hmm. That one is beyond me. Wait, hold on. Wait. No. Okay. Can't dig it up. Hmm. Okay. A little bit of goof off when you're in there. Your opponent messes with the head. Yeah. As long as it don't cost your team or anything. Oh god. Okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. Right, so we didn't get the key from Richard, which means that we still need to find that. But we do have access to his back garden now. And apparently I'm very bad at staying out of holes. Uh, right, okay. Now we do know that there is a heart container in the top right-hand corner. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I just keep friggin' slipping into these holes all over the place. Uh, I don't know why I'm worrying so much. I can just jump over them, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, not. Oh God, okay. All right, hold on. Wait, okay. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. I think we're good now. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Uh, maybe not. Oh no, we're good. Okay. Woo! All right, we got a heart piece. <laughs> like you see, every time they're wobbly while your head is spinning, you can barely fight. Like a spirit cushion. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I mean, it's fine. Like, stuff like that, sure. I don't know. I'm not the right person to ask about it, really, because uh, I'm a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, right, okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. What have we got here, though? We have an owl friend. Now, normally, we have to find the beaks of these owls, but this one appears to be fine. In soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. Interesting. Mm, does that mean key? Wait, hold on. Key! Oh, I did it. We found the third dungeon key! Yeah! We did it, guys. We did it. Genius, that all right? <laughs> Just a guy left his guard down and didn't have any intention of regretting to hit, uh, hit coming. Uh, it was like, um, I just... He laughs in Ah, okay. I told you. Ah, okay. Never seen him box. Never seen Joshua box. Nice. I saved my last pumpkin spice donut to eat while I watch your stream. Nice. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, my good friend. Hopefully it is delicious. Slime key. Yeah, we've got the one-time slime key. Woo! All right, now the beautiful thing about that is that we can now use it to get into the third dungeon. And hopefully we can acquire ourselves the uh, the third 
uh, instruments that we need to wake up the wind fish. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Let's bloody get to it. Oh, man. How have all your spiced goodies been, Varial? You had, uh, what was it? You had spiced donuts, you had spiced uh, Cheerios. What else did you get? I can't remember. Hopefully they've all been delicious. Yeah, KMS told me that like everyone goes a bit crazy for uh, pumpkin spice this time of year, right? So, uh, yeah, let me know. Hopefully they've all been amazing. Um, sticks his tongue out after getting a good hit. On you and just keeps pushing and laughing. Ah, right, right. Very cheeky, very cheeky way of uh, showboating a wee bit. <laughs> just those two for me. Ah, right. Came as the one who bought an entire grocery store of pumpkin and spice tree. Yeah, yeah, she bought a lot. She bought a lot. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, see, like, I, I, I don't really do pumpkin spice. Um, so. Wait, how do we get over there? Oh no, go around the other way. I don't really do pumpkin spice, so I don't really know. Oh, we can get around this way. <gasps> Beautiful. All right, cool. All right, let's hop down here. And let's open the dungeon. Boop. Whew. He's a brilliant boxer, but that fight you lost is unfortunate. You had a lot of judgment. I don't think I've ever had it. Well, let's hope you don't, lad. Let's hope you never do. There you go. Oh god. So it's the slime key, which means it's gonna be a slimy dungeon. I don't like slimy dungeons. I don't know about you guys. I don't like slimy dungeons. Slimy, watery dungeons. When a dungeon is effectively a sewer, not a, not a big fan of that. You've got all the most, I don't know why, but like sewers, it's not really a sewer. It's kind of like a sewer, I imagine, if it's a slime key and it's all watery. But sewers kind of bring the worst enemies to video games. You have to deal with literal slime enemies that eat you and steal your swords or crocodiles or alligators or whatever. And it's like, ah, oh God. Not a big fan. But we'll see what happens in here. You ever been in a slimy dungeon? How do you know you don't like it, young man? <laughs> oh. A good point. Well played. Well played. GG, Varial. GG. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let us have a look around here. We are getting a lot of bomb drops now. That's really cool. I don't know if that means we need bombs or if it's only given them because we don't have full bombs. Either way... Oh, we... Oh, okay. Hey, can I have that chest? No! Please? No. Okay. Ooh, what that? That is, I guess, the opposite of a black hole. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it pushes you away whenever you get near it. So uh, we're going to need to figure that one out, I guess. But it's disgusting while nearly the whole class was eating it. Oh, what? Well, pumpkin spice? I remember my teacher when it was five minutes pumpkin soup. Oh, so pumpkin soup. Put it in my mouth and it just sprayed out. Not a fan. Uh, I never had pumpkin soup before. Oh, God. Okay. So we've got bomb enemies now. Oh! Okay. Okay. All right. So we've got very, very bounty bomb enemies now. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And... Oh, God. Oh, God. No. 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 Explode already. But not on me. Ow. Okay. All right. Okay. This... This seems highly unusual. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I meant in the opposite of a black hole, as in, instead of sucking in, it pushes away. That's all I meant. No needs. No, nothing scientifically correct or anything. That's all I meant, so don't worry. Um, they get so excited. Yeah, those bomb guys. Like playing friggin' table tennis with a wall there. <laughs> But we are allowed to go in here at the very least, and doors close when enemies appear, which means that doors will open when they go. In blows instead of suck. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's a it's a proper blower. It's blowing me away. Right. Uh, oh no no no. Oh no. See slime slime dungeons. Oh, here's a chest. I wonder what's in it. Oh, it's more enemies. 
bloody slime. God damn it. What are you meant? Okay, good, good, good. I'm glad. Uh, ooh. Interesting. Right, so we obviously need a switch. Because uh, I don't think we can jump up here. So you see these blue pillary things here. During the second dungeon, we had to hit a switch, and these blue things would go down, whilst w uh, red versions of it would go up. So we have to kind of knock a switch, move all the way round, push this block away, and then we can grab that chest. So we can't come, we can't really do anything there yet. So we need to look for a switch that we can slash. Interesting. Just thinking of the reaction that will cause when the two opposites meet. Ah, right. Fair enough, lad. Fair enough. Have fun thinking of that one. Uh, and ob obviously, if we hit the the red switch, it would be. If we hit a red switch, these blues would go down and we'd be able to get this chest as well. But where is it? Hmm. We do have a Guardian Acorn, though, which will uh, reduce the amount of damage that we take. So we're looking for a red switch now. We also have key... Ooh. All right. Someone pick for me. Do we go north, south, east, or west? <laughs> we've got one key, and we've got four key doors. So do we go north, south, east, or west? I don't really know. Nothing kind of tells us which way we should go. Oh! Hey, Nova. Hunter's Nova raiding me with six people. Six bloody lovely people, I may add. Why, hello there, Nova. Hello, Spencer 10. <gasps> Look at all that cheesy hype. <laughs> how you guys doing today? Nova, how was Fortnite? Did you get all the sick wins? I remember seeing you get one win. Hopefully you got a ton more. Hopefully you're well today. It would definitely push you out from what you've led. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Uh, can you try them all? Yes, we can go through all four of these doors, so don't worry. We will get enough keys. But yeah, Hunters Nova, hopefully you had a most wonderful stream. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're well. You're probably exhausted because you stream all bloody dead, don't you, when you do Sunday streams? You absolute maniac. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> Uh, right, you joined me at a confusing time because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Killing that guy, though, apparently. Good nine-hour stream. Oh, God, how do you do it? How do you do a nine-hour stream? I can barely function for about three hours. How do you do a nine-hour stream? You're just very good at what you do, it seems. <laughs> you got four wins. Nice, nice. Glad you're getting those wins in. Uh, I know I know you're kind of waiting for the end of the season because you've um, not been enjoying the season too much, but I'm glad you're getting wins at the very least. Getting closer to that 1k though. Ooh, yeah. Nova's been trying to get to 1,000 followers, and she's doing very, very well indeed. So if you enjoy things like uh, Fortnite and Zelda and... Oh, what was that Sioux game that you played recently? Yeah, all kinds of really good variety games. And uh, feel free to follow Nova if you haven't already. A bloody lovely lady she is. Bloody lovely streamer. That grind. Oh god, I know, right? I know. Grinds, eh? Who, 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 could, who could deal with them? Grinding. Ugh. A horrible thing to do. But you gotta do it sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, don't worry. You'll get to that 1,000 follows eventually. Don't you worry. You're too bloody good not to have a 1,000 follows. I'll tell you that for nothing. Right. That's an arrow, an arrow that says that I should do something down here. Oh my god. This game just got so difficult. My god. Uh, Planet Zoo. That's the one. Yeah. Freaking Planet Zoo. You on a zoo now. Nice. <laughs> Oh, uh, hopefully you've had fun with it. God, right. Okay. Oh, God. No, now they have time. Oh, God. Ow. Okay. Okay. You can do it, DJ. God, I bloody hope so. See, I've got more people watching me now. Nova has added the pressure. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. You're all good. You can do it. Yeah, let's try and friggin' do this. Two the theories of time stuff in the center of the black hole. Ah. Too smart for me, man. Too smart for me. 
Right, finally a chest we can open. Fantastic. Create your own. You create your own pressure? That sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right, too. Sorry for not saying hi. How are you liking this awakening? Don't worry about it, Spencer. I'm absolutely loving it, man. Absolutely loving it. Uh, I played this... Um, I played the original a long, long time ago. Um, so, yeah. This is all really new to me because I've forgotten most of it. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. I absolutely love it. It's so, so good. Um, yeah. Have you been playing it at all? Uh, right. Do we blow a hole in this wall? No. Okay. Oh, wait. No, no, we do. <gasps> oh, I'm so clever. But I'm not clever enough because we can't jump over that yet. Interesting. Okay. I think I know the item that we get from this uh, this dungeon. You gotta go to sleep. All right. Uh, have a good have a good night's sleep. And thank you for the uh, the stream earlier. And thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Have a good night, Nova. Have a bloody good night. And I'll see you next time. Right, okay. We're solving this slowly. We're solving this super slowly. Glad to hear you loving it. You've not played it yet? Oh, well, uh, if you enjoy Zelda, then you'll certainly enjoy this. So hopefully you get to. But yeah, I love it. It's good. Super, super fun. I love the style of it as well. The friggin' kind of... I call it claymation. It's kind of like, kind of like that. But it's all very clean, the animation. I adore it so much. I thought you said linking Link's Awakening as a pun for a second. No, no. <laughs> not not clever enough for that. Oh! Uh. Alright, okay. Uh. Oh, okay. ah. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it! <laughs> That music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eh. uh, okay. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh, wait. Eat the bomb. Yeah. Eat that bomb. Yeah. Eat that bomb. Eat that bomb. Eat it. You don't get anything else. Oh, no. Okay. All right. What is that? That is a that is a pretty uh, spooky looking worm. Eat that bomb. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, eat that bomb. There you go. Okay. They both eaten two bombs. Eat that bomb. No. Eat it. <laughs> How to feed your uh, your worms? All right. Okay. Right. Turn your head. There you go. There you go. All right, one down. <gasps> Ooh, very nice. All right, so we are gonna grab that. Very nice. The full. Yeah, yeah. That what? That uh, that guy. Uh, that guy had enough. Now is this guy had enough, or are you hungry? Okay. There we go. All right. I think that was our last bomb as well. So that was pretty scary. All right, we did good. We did good. And we got a fairy out of it. So remember, you can bottle fairies, and what fairies do is they will give you full health, I believe, uh, when you use them. So nice to have that available to us. That was good. Yeah, yeah. I do vaguely remember that boss from a speedrun, actually, from the original game. Not this game, the original game, where if you kill one and then leave this area up here and then come back, I think the other one instantly dies. I think... I. I've got vague memories of that in a speed room somewhere, but uh, I might be wrong. Right, either way, we can check this chest. We get ourselves Ooh, a new toy to play with. You got the Pegasus boots. If you hold L, you can dash. Try going for a long jump. Look, yeah, we got ourselves some lovely Uggs. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Wonder if you can speedrun this game? Oh, you can, Krogan. The, uh, one of the most prolific Celeste speedrunners right now is currently speedrunning this game, so, uh, yeah. The way you could- oh, glitch the old games? Oh, with all the old glitches? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not with the old glitches. Th this game will probably have its own glitches, but, yeah, I don't think. I don't think it would have the old ones. 
Maybe, though. Maybe. One of the old speedrun glitches was a glitch that you used with Rock's Feather, which is the jumping mechanism in this game. You do something called a super jump. I don't know how you do it. It's something like jump slash or something like that. But I don't know if this game has it. But, uh, yeah, we now have the Pegasus Boots, and what that allows us to do is go really fast. There we go. We just go really fast. Look at that. Look at him go. Look at him go. Ah, oh, scampering away. What a ledge. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. We can't do that without bombs. Yeah, that bonk at the end. Love it. <laughs> All right. There's a couple of things that we can now explore. Uh, we don't really have a lot of bombs. I don't want to take though. I don't want to do the uh, the room on the left there. Oh, there's something to be had in here. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to do that room on the left yet because I only have one bomb and there's no pots there. And that enemy, when you get close to it, uh, it teleports away. So you need some kind of range, and we don't have range yet. Honestly, this game just looks like an HD version of um, ALBW. A link between worlds. A link between worlds. That's the one. Um, well, I mean, when when you kind of simplify it like that, then you know every, every game can be simplified like that, pretty much. Uh, I think the joy of this game is a it's bringing back a classic that some people may not have ever seen. Honestly, may not have ever seen uh, back in the Game Boy days. And uh, B, it feels so good to play in HD with a controller. It's very slick now. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's a loved adventure and it's been brought back in a beautiful way, in my opinion. But, of course, uh, you may, you are allowed to think whatever you wish to think. Um, but it is very nice to play at the very least. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it for sure. Uh, right, so there's kind of more to do on the right. But we kind of need more bombs in order to do stuff. I can understand that. I like seeing good HD remakes. It really does expose people to things they miss. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Um, yeah, because like for me in remakes, I I don't always agree with them because sometimes the remakes come very shortly after a game. Uh, well, there's a very kind of small gap between when the game is released and when the remaster or the remake comes out. It feels like it's a bit pointless, so to speak. Uh, when you have a game from 20 years ago and you remaster that, that's amazing. Because you're taking such an old game and it's old mechanics and you're just giving... You're able to do so much, but... I don't know, a game like... Dark Souls. The Dark Souls remaster. You can't really do much with that apart from tank up the frame rates. And even then, on PC, the frame rates were fine, weren't they? Well, well, for the most part. So, yeah. Remake, yeah, there is a difference between a remake and a remaster, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, at the same time, uh, uh, there've been, there's been some bad ones of both, that's for sure. Um, how do I kill these guys? I have to kill them with bombs. But again, I have no range. I thought I was going to throw it for some reason. <laughs> I thought I was going to throw it. Uh... God damn it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Yeah! I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. No, we're good. We're good. We don't need long range because we can speed them. We can like, speed right through them. There you go. Beautiful. We did it. <laughs> Wait, that's not going to slide down there, right? Oh, it is. Wow, that's cheeky. Uh, I'd love to see actual HD remakes of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask because 3DS version still felt a little clunky. They'd be fantastic on the Switch. Yeah, those would be nice. Yeah, I, I mean, Grezzo did a pretty good job for what it was, but um, I can certainly agree with the with the clunkiness, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I remember getting uh, the Ocarina of Time remake, and I had a lot of fun with it. Certainly had a lot of fun with it. 
it's certainly nice to see the lick of paint that it gave uh, that they gave it but um yeah i agree i mean i think for the most part it was because of the console it was on right like as powerful as the 3ds was for a handheld at the time um it doesn't really compare to the bigger stuff you know um not that i'm any kind of tech expert <laughs> but uh yeah it was I, I feel like it was fine for what it was but um yeah, no, I could, I, I could certainly see that one for sure. What's up here? Um, see, I'm a little worried about using all of my keys. Like, this dungeon will have all of the keys that you need for every single lock, I assume, anyway. They're not going to soft lock you. But at the same time, do I really need to go up there now? I don't know. I don't know. We'd need three keys to go around there anyway. So I think for now... Oh, stop attacking me. We're going to see what's in here. Wait. Uh, oh, we can't charge diagonally. Okay, good to know. Take that, you bugger. All right, we did good. We did good. We did good. So yeah, this, uh, this dungeon is... Um, it's, it's one that's full of keys. You need your keys to uh, to uh, progress, and there's certainly a lot of them available to you. Uh, right, let's do that, let's do that. Take that, you bugger. Uh, ooh, chest up there. Can't get to it, though. I don't think we c No, oh, we might be able to. Might be able to from... Yeah, we can do from this angle. Nice. Oh god, it's the bombs again. Oh, oh god. Ow. Okay. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice. I don't like those bouncy bombs. Not a big fan. Alright, let's defend against this guy. Get the slashes in. Very nice indeed. Alright, and we can get some more bombs here. Beautiful. Now, these owl statues require beaks. We've not found a beak, so... Uh, yeah, let's leave that one for now. And we'll go see what that chest is. Or what's in that chest, anyway. Uh, Devil Rupee. Very nice. Okay, what else do we have around here? Alright, so this is a shortcut back to this main room. I think if there is, well, I mean, there obviously is speedrun routes now, but I think one of the main items for speedrunning would be these Pegasus boots. Like, you just go so much quicker when you're charging with them. Hard to control. You can control them a wee bit. Oh, you can't really do anything here. You can control them a wee bit whilst you're charging, but not much. You kind of drift when you use them. Um... Oh! Oh, so if we, okay, so you make fun little, yeah, you do. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? <laughs> so you see that crack in the wall on the right there? What if we bomb this side of the wall? Will it blow open this side? Or, wait, can we pick up bombs? We can. So that's going to blow open that wall there. Does that go through here? It does. Interesting. Okay. So now we can go and destroy all these bombs and get something like that. Nice. I love the starting run animation where he gets ready to run by running really fast in the spot. Yeah, it's very, very cartoon, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, very, very cartoony. I love that so much. <laughs> yeah, this game's uh, animation is uh, pretty wonderful, if you ask me. It, it impresses me at the very least. Um, right, there you go. Bombs, more bombs, more bombs than you can shake a bloody stick at. Uh, where the hell am I? Oh, wait, no, I think this is right. Wait, what? No, up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, nope. DJ, you're doing fine. You're doing fine, DJ. You're doing fine. Right, okay. Pass all the bomb boys. Uh, kill all the slimes. Bloody slimes. Bloody slimes. There we go. There we go. There we go. Man, 234. We can probably almost buy that bow that we'd really like to steal. <laughs> 
Right. Man. Super good that we saw that crack in the wall there. Super, super good. I mean, one of the things that was added to this remake uh, that wasn't in the original game is that uh, whenever you have the compass and you go into a screen which has some kind of uh, treasure chest or some kind of special drop, it will make that noise. So you heard it just there. Um, so it's super good that I heard that because then I'd be able to, uh, then I was able to see where that key was in that room. Um... Right, so where do we go now? Ah, yes! Alright, okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually do a super jump. This could go horrendously wrong. Wish me luck. God damn it. <laughs> Let's try again. There we go. There you go. So when you use the Pegasus boots in conjunction with the Rock's Feather, you go for a big old super jump. Feels good, man. All right, we gotta do it again. Eight. Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and we get the boss key. Woo! Nightmare key has been acquired. There you go. Right, so we know... Oh, do, I, do we know what the boss is? Uh, it's on B1. Now, how do we get to there? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Let's go back to the start and we can explore. Yeah, let's go back to the start of the dungeon and we can kind of explore what we missed. Oh! I bet it's over here. Maps, eh? I know, right? <laughs> Always causing me to get lost, which is weird because maps should do the opposite. <laughs> right, uh, we need one more key. We need one more key. I bet you any money that the boss is down those stairs. Right, okay. Right, let's go back to the start and let's go find one more key because I reckon that's it. Uh, oh, yep, there we go. Yeah, that would make sense. They would lock the boss behind not only the boss key, but also those four key blocks. So that would make sense. And now that we have the ability to run... Wrong button. Uh, all right, run straight, DJ. That would probably help. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, man. Glad we figured that one out. <laughs> And we got ourselves a key. Beautiful. Beautiful. See, I like that. I like that. I like that they add little stuff like that at the start of the dungeon. It kind of gives you an idea as to what item you really should have. There'll be a lot of people who would try and maybe jump into the into the, the, the force. And you can't quite get there. But, um, yeah. You go into the rest of the dungeon. Get yourself your Pegasus boots. Come back. And jumps are good in there. Whew. So fun. DJ's is smart. Try my best, man. Try my best. Try my best. I mean, I've fallen in a lot of holes in this stream already, so, uh, yeah, uh, good to actually get some progress done. Right, I want to knock out all these other chests. So we've got one up here, one up here, and one near the steps. Although for this one, and for this one, we needed to hit a, um, a gem, didn't we? Uh, a switch, sorry. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. Let's. Uh... Oh, that will that will do. That will do. That will do nicely. Oh no no no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So yeah, we couldn't go through this one because we needed a switch. So, let's see if there's anything we can do up here. You know what? Not even going to wait. Not even going to wait. We can destroy these little blocks with the charge. Uh, hmm. But where is the switch? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. There's a switch there. 
There's definitely a switch somewhere. Uh, oh. Maybe it's up. There's one more key door. Interesting. So we could go straight to the boss. But where's the fun in that, right? Where's the fun in that? Ah, there you are. There you are. Okay. So if we had gone north, we uh, we would have found the switch that we needed a hell of a lot earlier. But, of course, we would have missed out on other stuff. So, yeah. And we spent a key, but we got a key in return. And along with all of that, we can go... Eight. And that will change all of the blue switches. Well, all the blue switches will... Well, the blue switch will now cause the pillars to drop down and will cause all the red ones to raise up, which means that we should be able to get access to this chest. Indeed, we get access to this chest here, which gives us a beak. And then the beak would go into the owl statue, uh, who I, where I totally forgot where it is. But we put that beak in the owl statue and it'll give us a clue as to where we should be going. Simple. DJ solving puzzles, everybody. DJ solving puzzles. All right, there we go. There we go. Just got this guy to smash. Now this chest shouldn't really have anything too useful. Ow, meanie! Stop stabbing me! God damn it! Take that. There we go. There we go. Oh, don't jump off. Don't jump off. Not yet. And we get ourselves rupees. Oh, the dungeon map. <laughs> It, it's kind of fun because the dungeon map and the compass really should be one of the first things you find and yet here it is the actual last thing that we find but that's okay I feel like with a game like this when you kind of know what you're doing you end up finding stuff earlier than you should which is fine <laughs> how do we open this chest though here hmm. Let's go find out, shall we? Let's go bloody find out. Because that's not... Yeah, it's one up. Uh... Oh, right, okay. I have a feeling it's got something to do with the red slime over there. Yeah. But we can't get to you. Binding off a thumb? Yeah, you're doing your knitting, aren't you? Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I assume we can't... No, can't do that. Right. So... Okay. If we assume that this game has any kind of sense of permanency, hopefully when we go round the, when, to kill the red thing, the red thing will stay dead. And if the red thing stays dead, that means that when we go back, uh, the... Yeah, yeah, we do this. It should drop. There you go. Good. Good. <laughs> The enemies do respawn, but thankfully, we're all good. Doing great? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it! Uh, alright. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Alright. Uh, right, so... We go... This way, I believe. Yes, let's go back into the teleport. And let's go try and kill a boss, I guess. Oh, so what's the boss of this place? I can't actually remember. Hmm. Let's go find out together, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Let's go find out. Oh, get off me. Get off me, you buggers. Yes, slimy buggers. I'm going to assume it's a big dollop of, of slime. Like, I'm going to assume that's what we're about to take on. Just a big old squidgy slime ball. Did he re... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Are you a f are you are you a thwomp? Are you are you supposed to be a thwomp? I think I found a thwomp. Thwomps traditionally in Mario games are actually uh, grey, but uh, I guess it's a red skull. Ah, oh, it looks pretty thwompy to me. Oh, oh, we didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Block, yeah, that kind of makes sense too. Oh, it's Red Skull from Marvel. Ah, sure, sure, why not? I'd love that as an emote. <laughs> what an emote that would be! Well, Nintendo had to avoid copyright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone, I was I was reading the story of this, well, not reading the story, I was listening to the story of this game at a GDQ 
uh, whilst I was watching a GDQ speedrun. Apparently, this game was supposed to be a bit of an afterthought. There was just one designer who was just playing around with Zelda stuff and Mario stuff and mixing it all together, and it ended up becoming a game. Like, this game has Goombas and Piranha Plants and all sorts, and... Uh, you know, the original had that kind of stuff as well, so it's super cool to see that kind of crossover. Big fan of that. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. You see a piranha plant in the top right-hand corner. There you go. Look at him. Yeah, exactly, H7. It's that emote right there. <laughs> but red and blocky. All right. Eight. All right, come up, piranha plant. I'm ready for you. Well, just like classic Mario, when you're next to the pipe, they don't actually come up. Oh no, they do. Maybe they do. Okay, when you stand close to it, I guess. Uh, that really would be an awesome emote, wouldn't it? Oh man. If, if there's ever a Zelda speedrunner or a Zelda uh, streamer out there that plays this game, I hope they create that emote. <laughs> he looks offended. Oh, just looks a bit shocked to me. Looks like a shocked boy. Just like this guy. This guy on the left, he's like, I think I'm safe behind these two blocks. Oh no! Yep, got wrecked fella. Get bloody wrecked. Alright, we'll get this fella done as well. Jobs are gotten. We did it. We did it, boys. We did it. Oh my god, what on earth am I looking at here? Alright, should be a simple case of killing all the bats. Or keys, as they are called. There you go. And we get ourselves a key. What are you for? What? Uh... Why do we have a spare key? Uh... Did we not get this chest? Kill a key for a key? Very good. <laughs> we didn't get this chest, did we? Uh, we'll get it on the way out, I guess, but... I don't know where that key goes. Uh, maybe there's another floor? I mean, we have everything we need. Curious. Hmm. Oh well, either way. Uh, yeah, wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go and uh, take on the third boss of the game. Neither, neither! You can't find me! <laughs> nya, nya! You're right! I can't find you! Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, it's a big dollop of slime, isn't it? It's a big dollop of slime. Oh, good luck. Have fun. Oh. Oh, God. I hope I can have fun. Oh, God. Uh. I mean, I'm going to assume you're above me. All right. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, how do we get you down from up there? Do I slam the wall? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, fella. Oh, I got my eye on you, lad. Slime Eye. A great name. <laughs> uh, all right, okay. All right, so you separate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know what you're doing. No, 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 no. Nope, stay apart, stay apart, and there you go. Okay, cool. So you kind of got to make them double up, and then, oh god, ow. Yeah, cut the connection, I guess. Uh, or I can do this. Oh, no, 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 Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. It does damage. It does, oh god. Okay. It kind of creates a trauma. We kind of need them up here. Dev skills, though? God, I wish I had any. Ow. They're doubling up on me. They don't like being poked in the eye, it seems. Oh, I got rid of one. Nice. Okay, there you go. All right, and... Stay there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ah, okay. All right, okay. Stay there, lad. Stay there. No, stop jumping. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh wow, you're just jumping instantly now. 
There we go. Okay, nice and easy. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that got scary for a wee bit. Uh, oh, a thing that happened today, by the way. I do farming stuff on Sundays, and today apparently the place I go to is closing down. Oh no! But they didn't tell me about it. They told my dad it's closing down. Oh dude, I'm sorry. That sucks. Any reason why? Uh, well, that you've been told or not? Like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, thank you for the comfort, KMS. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You got me through that. Thank you so much. Uh, don't skill sir. Oh, I love how this uh, feels natural. Yeah, yeah. Everything flew really well in that fight. First new... Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. First new runs the place. Can't deal with it. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Pretty difficult to run a farm, I'm sure. Lots of... A hell of a lot to think about. But with the defeat of the slime eye boss, the third boss of the game, we receive our third musical instrument. Let's go see what it is, because I'm not going to lie, just looking at it, it looks like a helmet with a candle on it. I don't know, maybe I'm dumb and my eyes are going, but I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, it's a bell! <laughs> it's a bell. <laughs> well, I mean, it kind of looks like a helmet with a candle on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Friggin' campanologist rise up, right? Campanologist. That's campanology is like bell ringing, right? Waterfall. Oh, Diglett hat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kinda. Yeah. It is hidden in the waterfall. Lovely, bloody lovely. I thought it was a holy crown. It it looks like a hat of some kind. That's for sure. But then again, a bell looks like a hat. Kind of. So yeah. Ah, it's our favorite hourly friend. Hoot! How many instruments have you gotten so far? I've got three, Mr. Talking Owl. When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the windfish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yana Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot. Hoot. And away we go. Away we go. There you go. So we've got our big old donger of a bell, and now we must go to the desert. Alright. If I was a desert, where would I be? I mean, up here looks like a desert, doesn't it? But also, he said behind a waterfall. Take your tongue into the desert day. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> a world famous day indeed. <laughs> um, hmm. So, we require a waterfall. What looks like a waterfall to, here, uh, to you guys? Here? That looks like a waterfall, a little bit. We're going to a spring pool in the desert. Yeah, perhaps. Best international holiday, yeah. <laughs> we'll make it a thing. We'll make it a thing for sure. But like, I, I don't think I'd call this desert. I'd just call it mountains. So, hmm, I'm not too sure. We can have an explore though. Yeah, we'll have an explore. Let's see what we can find, shall we? Um, I wonder if I can make that jump now, by the way. I don't know, let's find out. Unless there's a way to go round, which I think there is. Yeah, uh, ooh, can I, can I lift you? No, I can't. And I very much doubt I can make this jump. Eight! No, I just drowned, unfortunately. All right, that's unfortunate. Right, okay, well, um, yeah, let's go for an explore, shall we? So, a waterfall or the Yana Desert? Uh, I'm going to assume both are connected to each other in some way, way, shape, or form, so, uh, yeah, let's have a look around and see what we can find. What have we got here? Animal Village or Martha's Bay? Nice. Grab some wine. Where is Martha, Martha's Vineyard? Is, Mar is there a Martha's Vineyard? I think so, right? Yeah, I think mean, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, alright. What's this little party down here all about? Ooh, in a cave. Let's do it. Let's go in. Right. 
Now, I'm pretty sure this is all gonna be just, uh, additional stuff, but that's fine. As long as we can try and, uh, well, at least find the desert today, I think that'd be pretty good. But, uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I mean, <laughs> do you guys feel like I've ever had any idea of where I'm going? Because, uh, believe me, I, I certainly don't. Uh, Martha's Bay, though. Stay there, you bugger. No? Alright. Ow! Okay, not a big fan of that guy. Not a big fan of being electrocuted. We like exploring? We do. We certainly do. I mean, it's good to get a lay of the land, right? Ooh! And we get a secret seashell for our troubles, so... I mean, can't be mad at that, right? Uh, we can jump this. Alright, here we go. There we go. There we go. All right, here we go. We're exploring, ladies and gentlemen. We are exploring. And that's the end of our exploration because we can't swim. <laughs> yes, uh, Link isn't really much of a swimmer. Um, not in this game. Not yet, anyway. Uh, in other games, he can swim. Uh, he can just naturally swim in games like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Uh, Breath of, the, Breath of the Wild? God, I don't even remember swimming too much in Breath of the Wild. Ooh! <gasps> Ooh, a teleport thing! Takes TJ's hand. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So now that we've found a second teleport thing, we can go between Martha's Bay and Ukuki, Ukuku Prairie. Very nice. Why is this not fully explored? Um... I don't know. I don't know. I thought this was Rich. No, this is Rich's place. So what's this place? Hey, Sandwich. How you doing, bud? How you doing tonight? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you are most bloody well. And may I say thank you for allowing me to play Minecraft with you, good sir. I appreciate it. You, sir, are a bloody legend. Good, my dude. Yourself? I'm managing. I'm managing. I'm screwing up a lot today, but I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm trying my best to uh, solve puzzles. Not always the easiest thing to do at whatever time it is. Quarter to 11. Oh, God. Okay. Didn't see that one coming. Well, we have some interesting things coming for Spooktober. Then for winter, too. Ooh. Very nice indeed. Ooh, secret seashell. Nice. I'm very excited to uh, to see what you've got in store, my good friend. I appreciate uh, appreciate the fun, the fun and the hijinks. Uh, what have we got here? The door to the cabinet is hanging off its hinges. Nobody used this thing in a while. Uh, be more than welcome. Making a little community is super cute. Yeah, it certainly is. It certainly is, man. I'm just happy that you're able to do it in, uh, in Minecraft. That's freaking cool, dude. That's freaking cool as heck. And I read what you, um, I, I think, I think it was you that posted it, but you, like, you, you kind of want, like, people to be able to put little paths and, like, walkways between all the different kind of builds and all that to try and bring community together and all that. I think that's, like, a, I think that's a beautiful dream, dude. I think that would be pretty dope if, uh, if we could do that. So, um, yeah, I hope to see that. I'm yet to kind of get started, so, uh, yeah, forgive me. But, uh, I will, I will make my, I will make my, uh, my kingdom one day. <laughs> oh. Anyway, the chest! Ooh, 50 rupees. Very nice. Let's get a bit more of the sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Get on a bit of the sweet. That's what I meant. Nice. Right, okay, so... Ow! Let's try again, Link. Yay! Oh, God damn it, you. God damn it, Link. You proper. Beautiful. Right, so we're looking for a desert still, and I believe we've gone the wrong way. But we've found Martha's Bay, so yay. We can't swim yet, though, unfortunately, so we kind of have to go out of here for now. Ah, <sighs> a desert. 
I barely even remember a desert from the original, unless it's talking about Tal Tal Heights, but I wouldn't call that a desert. I'd call that a mountain range, and I don't really think that that's a thing. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's friggin' explore a bit more. Let's explore a bit more before we drive ourselves crazy. <laughs> but DJ, you're crazy enough. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. I can jump this. Not if I do that. I don't know. Got the drown. Even the drown noise is cute. Holy crap. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. Okay, for some reason, we can't do that. Oh, can we knock apples off trees now? Oh, we can. Nice. You picked up an apple. Delicious and good for some hearts. Talks to himself about how crazy it, he is. That's me. That's me. Oh, KMS. Oh, he eats the apple. <laughs> DJ likes listening to Hyrulean's drowning. You, you get used to it when you're really bad at Zelda games. Oh, man. Ow. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've done some really bad stuff to your boy Link, unfortunately. What else did I miss? Um, we can now eat apples, and it's adorable. If we find another apple tree, I'll, uh, I'll shout you again. But, uh, we eat apples, and it shows you kind of munching, it, munching your way down to the core of it. It's cute and adorable. <laughs> um, right. We can try to see, uh, Shell Shop again. Oh, we'll find more. Uh, we'll find more, don't you worry. Right, do we have the first level of seashell awesomeness? We do. And we get... Oh, ooh. Looks like a gift sub. Let's see what we get, shall we? Ah, we got a piece of heart. That should be our fourth piece. I think. No? Is that not our fourth piece? No, only a second. We must have already got one. Interesting. You got me. Hey, Boozy. Hey, right, Boozy. How you doing? How you doing? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you've had a wonderful week. Wait, I could talk to something. Else. Well, that was a surprise. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. If you see a weird ball all by itself in the middle of a cave, sprinkle some magic powder into it. It's a pretty good joke on the thing that lives in there. <laughs> Great, there you go. You're doing perfect? Good, good. Good, I'm glad you are doing perfect, my good friend. Happy to have you here. <laughs> well, that was a surprise. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. Use your sword to poke at dungeon walls. Ah, yeah. If you hear a hollow clank, you can break the wall with a bomb. Yeah, that is actually a good fact. Thank you, Tree, I appreciate that. Good old trees. Trees will never do us wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Apart from those really twisted Halloween-y trees that like to grab you with roots and whatever. Yeah, don't trust those trees. Uh, but all the other trees, amazing. Tree of knowledge, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so um, trees are actually quite significant in the Zelda universe. They tend to be, well, there tends to be a, a very wise tree that um, guides the adventurer. Um, one of the more famous ones is the Deku tree that you would see in uh, Breath of the Wild and Ocarina of Time. Although there has been uh, trees in other games as well that do a similar job. Uh, all right, where should we go? Where should we go? I think, I think maybe we should head north. Should we head north? So like, we can't really go anywhere else and nowhere else really screams desert at me. Like this could be a desert around here, but we can't get there without uh, the ability to swim. This music is so dinner service at a very fancy wedding reception. Yeah, no, I, I can hear that. I can hear that. <laughs> enjoy it. Enjoy it. If you're having dinner right now, enjoy it. <laughs> hmm. All right. I say that we go up to Tal Tal Heights. Because I believe this entire mountain range is Tal Tal Heights. Um, 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Might be completely wrong, but uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Let's give it a bloody good go. Oh, can I climb this thing? I think I can, right? I can. Interesting. Okay. Oh! Oh, it's our good friend! Oh, Taran! How you doing, bud? I forgot. I forgot his voice. I'm going to have to make a new voice for him. Oh, Link! I see you! You have a stick! Ah, oh, yeah, it was like a really bad Scottish accent. Yeah. I see you have a stick! Can I borrow it for a second? Can or can't? Interesting options. Can. Oh, no, fella. No, don't poke the beehive. Oh, Taryn. Oh, no, you big silly bugger. What are you doing? Well, what can you say about that, eh? <laughs> the stick has evolved into a honeycomb. Beautiful, beautiful. You're not sure how it happened, but take it. There you go. What a silly pants. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Um, can we test this guy? Well, can we test the tree spirit right here? No. Okay. Only in dungeon walls, I guess. But uh, this is a bumble wall here. So we plant a bomb here. And boop. Beautiful. What do we have in here? Oh, it's a great fairy. Interesting. Now, we can't really do anything here. Great fairies would heal us, but... I mean, we do we do have a heart to heal, so there you go. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. There you go. And she will heal you to full. And that little fairy will also do the same thing. I hope she comes back, or that is an almighty waste of a great fairy, but that's fine. Right, okay. More beasties and more holes. <gasps> Ooh, apples! Alright, KMS, you're around. Give me a second, so I can eat this apple. Right, uh... Alright, okay, I need to kill this thing first. Alright, here we go. Alright, charge! Alright, eat the apple. Adorable, right? <laughs> Love it. Love it. Right. Uh, I think... Isn't that adorable? Isn't that the sweetest little thing? I love it. I really do. Uh, I think we explored all of this area, didn't we? Okay, so... I think we should probably try Tal Tal Heights. I was saying that. We didn't explore up here, did we? DJ, stop getting sidetracked. In fact, no, DJ, do get sidetracked. You, you guys don't mind if I get sidetracked a little, right? All right, here we go. So this is Kohalan Prairie, different to Yukuku Prairie. And this is, oh, zombies! Oh God, oh no. Oh no, don't don't show me zombies. No, 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 no. Bad zombies. What's this place? Cemetery, Yukuku, okay. What's this? Track all the sides. I'm gonna track all the sides for sure. <laughs> well, I ain't listening to hear you advance. Sure, sure. Okay. Well, uh, I will. I will do all the. I will do all the side tracking I can. Um. Hey, witch friend. Toad's tongue whispers. So. Toad's tongue wasps wings. Insects knees. I'll sell you magic powder for fifty. I've already got plenty, love. I already got love. Uh, I've already got plenty of love. Uh, Alright, okay, cool. All right. See you later, love. See you later. Right, so we've actually already been here before. But we haven't been over here. So what's this cemetery all about? I mean, I, I know the basic concept of a cemetery. Um, but what can we do here, pray tell? Oh, God, it's my worst nightmare. Oh, God, I don't like zombies. Zombies are not great. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, okay. And here I am trying to dig them up. <laughs> that moment when you realize you're trying to dig up friggin' graves. <laughs> oh, man. 
I am the worst. God, you can't take me anywhere. You, you can't take. You can't take me anywhere, can you? This place is cute. It has zombies in it. Oh God. Yeah, I can't, just can't actually dig that one. Can't dig that one. There we go. There you go. Grave Robin DJ. Absolute worst guy in the world. Look at me go. Oh my god, I'm like patches from Dark Souls. Okay, let's uh, let's dig them all up. There you go. I'm here to take care of the zombies. But first, we must dig all, dig up all the friggin' graves. Uh... There you go. There you go. No grave is safe, apart from the ones I can't dig. All right, fine. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> you are the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, just don't take me to a graveyard. The Tabal Wasteland. Interesting. Not quite sure why you'd take me to a graveyard, but uh, don't. <laughs> Especially if I have a shovel. What's this place? Uh, ooh! Hey guys, it's a pretty lady. Gonna, gonna put on the moves. Hi there. Nice rats you've got. <laughs> Sounds like a fun date to me. What, in a graveyard? Oof. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, nice rats you've got there. Wanna see me lift a pot? <laughs> Yeah, you're impressed? I got one more for you. Yeah! Want to go on a date with me? No? Okay. Fair right. Link's never getting a date in this game. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret. I mean, that's a bargain, right? Absolutely. All right, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. Ah. It will take effect when you lose all hearts. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Aw, cool. You sure he doesn't get lucky? <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, he's just got some friggin'... I don't even, don't even know. Some kind of potion rubbed on him. But yeah, apparently when I die, I come back to life. Hello, squaddy. How you doing today, my good friends? Hopefully you are well. GJ is a nice girl. Don't talk to her. <laughs> I did think that she would probably end up killing us, but uh, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. You haven't been here for a while? Dude, I stream every weekend, man. I've uh, I've streamed every weekend for. Oh, you haven't been there for a while. Yeah, indeed. What have you been up to? What have you been up to with your life? Let me know. Right, Tal Tal Heights, full of moblins. These uh, these pig buggers here. So let's see if we can actually get some work done around here. Now again, I I don't think this is. I don't think Taltal Heights is a desert. I mean, it doesn't look very sandy to me, but we can uh, we can have a go. We can have a look around. Club is done. Nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. I'm sure it looks amazing. I mean, it looks amazing from all the pictures you've sent me, so nice. Glad you got it finished. Oh, God, she's also an MLM scam artist. MLM? I don't know what that stands for. <gasps> but a scam artist sounds bad. School and stuff like that? Uh, school sucks, right? <laughs> well, hopefully you've been well anyway, Squatty. Hey, it's our good friend, Dampe. Hey there. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island. I can tell. I made little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there, and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what you can. See if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done once you're finished arranging a dungeon, you gotta adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. That's all up to you. I'll make the risks worth it. Impress me 
and there's a treasure in it for you. Ooh, I like treasure. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. Right, I know exactly what this is. Because this is a, uh, a brand new thing for this game. Haven't got the attention yet? Ah, good lad, good lad. You got some new cham- wait, you got some new chambers. Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. Uh. What are you here for? Um, a range? I actually don't own an amiibo. I've never owned an amiibo. <laughs> um, so yeah, so one of the newest things for this game, uh, because this wasn't in the original game, this is in uh, the remake only, is that you can actually make your own dungeons. Uh, you can kind of tinker around with certain rooms, slot them all together and all that, and make your own little dungeon, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how in-depth this is, but I suppose we can try and do one and see what we get as a reward. So Dungeon Arranging 101. I started this one already. Can you finish it? Make a path from the entrance to the Nightmare Lair from the entrance to the Nightmare Lair. There's gonna be a stop along the way for the treasure chest. If a chamber's got an exit, you gotta connect it to another exit. Nobody wants an exit that goes nowhere. Absolutely, absolutely. Same school kids. Wise words, Ninja, wise words. <laughs> How you doing, my good friend? How you doing? School sucks, yeah. It can be, but stay in there. But yeah, isn't that cool? All right, so. Take a ch sorry, take chambers from the menu on the right with A, then slap them on the tiles to the left with A. Meanwhile on creation kit. Oof. Yeah, we've had, yeah. We have, we have a nice easy way of making dungeons. <laughs> I feel for your H7 having to make dungeons in creation kit and all that. Where subjects is science. Oh dude. I used to love science. Uh, a lot of times you'll want a chamber with a particular set of exits, so that's how I divided them up. You can flip through them with L and R. So here are the tiles on the right. Ah, interesting. Okay, so these are single room, um, single entrance rooms. These are double entrance rooms, and these are triple entrance rooms. Interesting. So what we can do is we can we can do we can get a tile like this and pop it here. Okay, fair enough. As in the chamber might turn into a locked door or a shutter depending on which chamber you hook up to it. There are rules for which type of exit gets the right of way. You learn pretty quickly as you go. Okay, I don't know what that kind of door is, but that's fine. We'll figure this one out for sure. Um, okay, and then we can put like this here. This is like Guild of Engineering. Is it? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. All right, we'll get a triple. I will put the triple here. Sometimes you think you're all set, but the chamber isn't turning from red to blue like it should. When that happens, press Y to check to see what the deal is. Okay, well, I think I already know why, but we can... This is only going to be a simple one, by the way, so uh, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. All right, we'll connect these two together, and then we'll connect... Um, we'll put a boss there, why not? Connect those two together. When an entrance lights up green, the job's done. Press A on the entrance to go adventuring for your shiny dungeon. While you're on your adventure in the chamber dungeon, I'll set you up with all the bombs and such you'll need. After it's over though, you'll have whatever you had before. So there you go. Look at that. So we've made our own dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. It's very simple. It only has four chests and it has a, a nightmare at the end, but we have it. We have it done. Very nice. I haven't been on Creation Kit in a long time. My worst fear is not being able to import new files. I don't know how to. Oh no, but I'm making a dungeon in Creation Kit. But ma uh, making a dungeon in Creation Kit is as easy as this. The only hard part is the walls are different and there's front walls and side walls. Ah, okay. Well, that sounds easy then. <laughs> um, I like the new setup. It's probably not new, but it is to me. Oh, do you mean my new stream setup? Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Yeah, I mean, it's still reasonably new. We've not had it for too long, so yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. We worked pretty hard on it. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, you have cards with different dungeon chambers on them, and you have to make sure the extra... Sorry, the exits work next to one another. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that. I like the sound of that game. Hopefully I get to play it one day. 
But, um, yeah, okay. I mean, we're right here. Let's play our very first created dungeon. The goal of the adventure in this dungeon is to get to the end and beat the nightmare. Try not to run out of hearts before you get there. If you want to quit before an adventure is over, you can either leave through the entrance or choose quit adventuring from the pause menu. Interesting. Okay, so we, we, we walk left and we have a chest here. And in order to leave, we have to kill all the enemies, but in the chest, we got ourselves a rupee. Very good. <laughs> This isn't the most complex dungeon, so all of these chests will probably only have rupees in it because there's no key doors. But if you, you might remember this little tunnel from when we got the rocks uh, feather. Ah, uh, nah, Squatty. Not anymore, dude. Not anymore. Uh, Alright, so yeah, you might remember this room from one of the earlier dungeons. Interesting. So let's get this guy off the edge. Pop the button. And we get another chest, which will probably have a rupee. Purple rupee. Very nice. It's, it's cool, right? So this is like a really nice way to kind of pass the time. Like if you're ever, um, if you're ever kind of struggling with a certain dungeon, then you can kind of just play around with us. <laughs> is Wink? Uh, Wink drops by from time to time. Tends to lurk a lot though. And then we get another purple rupee. Very nice. Can practice in it. Yeah, you can so you can kind of practice fighting in it as well. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Okay. So this requires uh, magic dust and more magic dust. And then oh, there we go. We scare the two bees away with the light, and we get another chest. And there's the boss key. There you go. So now we can actually go and fight the the, the big boss. Uh, he's not been around for a while either, Squaddy. Uh, a lot of the community has changed, Squad. Um, I quit streaming for about four months, so uh, yeah, a lot of the community's kind of changed. People leave, new people come to the community. It's it's just how things work, so um, yeah, try not to worry about it, love. Try not to worry about it. Alright, okay. And now we've got ourselves a mini-boss. I accidentally put the mini-boss. Uh, in front of the actual boss, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there we go. Stuff change. You'll learn that about life, Squatty. Uh, stuff changes quite a lot. <laughs> but that's fine, man. Change is always a good thing. Well, mostly a good thing anyway. It's an appetizer. Yeah, so the mini boss leads right into the main boss, which is uh, Moldorm, I think his name is. So what we gotta do, hit the tail when it's exposed. Oh god, and also not get hit by his friggin' chainsaw uh, of doom attack. There we go, let him bounce around for a wee bit. Let him bounce around. And... Alright, okay, alright, alright, okay. Uh... There we go, beautiful. Oh, not dead yet, okay. Rule of three hits and all that, maybe not. Now, I wonder where I go if I fall, because I think in... Uh, this dungeon, uh, when we fell, we actually went to a room. So I guess it would probably just put me um, back up here, I guess? Either way, that is the boss of our created dungeon. We win. <laughs> but you're always welcome around here, Squaddy. You're always welcome around here, my friend. What a show. There were times I'd swear you had one foot in the grave. A frill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. And we get ourselves a new chamber. There you go. Very good indeed. The rupees you find around the dungeon are a little bonus from me. You can keep them once the adventure's over. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. What are, you, what are you here for? You know what, fella? Mm. One adventure, one custom adventure is enough for me. We win? Yeah, we do. That's cool. That's a cool idea. So you, you can now kind of make your own dungeons. And yeah, I, I don't know if I'll end up making too many of my own on stream. I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll try and make an uber complicated one. <laughs> we'll try and make an uber complicated one and see how we fare. Let's not be greedy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, uh, Gravekeepers, 
in, in Zelda don't tend to make much money, I guess. So, uh, yeah, we'll try not to take all of his rupees from him. Alright. Got to learn new people now. Well, we've got some lovely people here, my good friend. Got uh, some lovely people in here for sure. Alright, let's see. Tal Tal Mountain Range. See, again, would not call any of this a desert. Hmm. Although maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, ah, wait a minute. So, the, uh, the, 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 the owl said go to the desert, but the voice said waterfall is behind a waterfall. I dare say that's a waterfall right there. So maybe if we make our way through Tal Tal Heights, go through the right hand side, we might be able to get to that waterfall. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, defo, defo. All right. Let's see if we can make our way over there. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, I keep pressing my jump button as my attack button. Oh my god, it's a real issue. Yeet. There we go. Come here, you bugger. Come here. We did it. I really need to stop doing that, though. It's a real problem. Ah, right. So we get ourselves a heart piece if we can figure this one out. Uh, let's see here. We'll go over here. Uh, oh, hello. Okay. Um... That could work. Uh, yeah, no, that could work. Wait, no, it can't. No, that can't work, can it? Maybe we leave and then come back in? Uh, yeah, that could work. There we go. Oh, God, careful. Okay, there we go. Alright, good. So we get ourselves another piece of heart. Nice. I would like to collect all of the pieces of heart, but I have a feeling I'm not going to remember where I got them. You did it! Yeah! How have we done for puzzles today? Have I been good for puzzles today? I don't really know. I feel like maybe we've been a bit rough in terms of attacking stuff, but in terms of puzzles, I feel like we've done alright. We're coming back. It's funny how you still remember me. Wink forgot you. Wink forgot you. Oh. Don't don't be well. Don't be offended by that. Like honestly, um, it, it's hard for a streamer to. Oh, they're inflatable. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, it's hard for a streamer to remember every single person. Like it's it's not easy. It's not their fault either. It's just people have got stuff to do and all that. And if it's been a while since you've seen someone, you know it's. Not always easy to remember, but you know, I mean, I remember you because you know we had some good times. But yeah, don't be offended too much. It's all good. Oh, what's a weird object? There must be some way to tackle this. Uh, well, there is. I can pop it by going. Uh, how do I get over there, though? I mean, I don't think a super jump does it. No, it doesn't. So we must have to drop from above. Yeah. Lots to drop from above, I'd say. Alright. Uh, oh, here we go. Nice. And we get ourselves 50 more rupees. At this rate, we're not going to be able to steal the bow simply because <laughs> we'll be able to buy it. I mean, I'd like to steal it. I think that's way cooler, right? At least you went for uh, got it within a week. I did once when I first joined Twitch by another streamer. Yeah, well, more, more fool that person, 87. More fool that person. Find some, something more expensive to steal? Sure, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright, fella. What's this fella up to up here? Ooh, I kind of want to see what he's got. DJ has the memory of an elephant when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to people. I do tend to remember people pretty well. Sometimes I muddle names, sometimes I'm a little iffy with stuff, but uh, I do okay remembering people. There was one guy, there was one, there was one viewer in particular who was like super adamant that I knew him, but I had absolutely no idea who he was. And that was, I think his name was Digital Nick. 
like, he's probably gonna run, you know, walk through the door after, like, not seeing me for, like, months. But I have absolutely no idea who that guy was. Feel free to tell him. <laughs> Find something more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will, uh, we'll definitely do that. I, I don't know if there is something more expensive, actually. The thing is, KMS, I really want to steal that bow, because stuff, cool stuff happens. Also, did, oh, I already read that. Oh, God, I've already, I'm, read, I'm reading so much of crap that I've already read. God damn it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Might be getting tired. Hopefully not, though. All right, fella, what are you up to? Oh. Yep, Papal got lost, just like he said. Now, I am so famished, I can't move. Can you give me some vittles? Vittles? No, I don't have any, sorry. You're one cold hombre. <laughs> got any vittles, guys? I need some vittles. You asked me to tell you to, you did amazing with the puzzles, though. Did I? Ah, so sorry. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing good, aren't we? I think, um, I think you're doing amazing. Yeah, I've just seen it there. Yeah, we're doing all right. Skittles? Yeah, Skittles. Sure. <laughs> no, Vittles. B-I-T-T-L-E-S. Hopefully we can find some. Uh, but there's not really much there. There wasn't really much up here. Maybe you playing Skyrim and Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter was last January, I believe? So that was a long, long time ago. Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Uh, right, okay. Ooh, secret cave? Hmm. No, okay. Right, okay. Let's try and make our way to the right here. I mean, I'm starting to see things that look remotely like waterfalls. Oh, that's a waterfall, surely. I mean, look, it's got water and it's falling. Um, can't do anything with it, though. Uh, let's see. No. Should have remembered you. I was here a long time ago. You might have not been here. I mean, Hate 7 has been here for a long time now. I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know when everyone joins. Uh, you watch the Skyrim streams, yeah. This must be the right area, though. Yeah, definitely the right area. But I wonder if we have to kind of go over it. Um, for now, anyway. So let's get up high. Yeah, let's get up high. Because there was a bridge up there. Oh, no, this goes back to Papal. Uh... How do I get back? Uh, I can't remember which way I went. Oh wow, I'm genuinely lost. Ah no, here we go. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. We're good. No need to panic everyone. We're good, we're good, I found it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Lost on top of a mountain, eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Celeste all over again. <laughs> Um. Okay, that. That. Okay, right. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Remember when DJ gave me my name for my account? Yeah, Squatty. Good old Squatty, my Gaudy. Indeed. Indeed, my good friend. It's a name you deserve. Beautiful name, indeed. You're fine? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm finding my way through, hopefully. But it looks like this little segment here isn't quite correct. So we'll have another look around to see um, if there's a better way up. <sighs> hmm. So what do we have here? Monkeys. We can't get here because there's water. Be nice to be able to get here. So we, we reached a waterfall, didn't we? So yeah, this is the... Can we zoom? We can. Okay. So... What we need to do... Ideally, is to get here. So where that heart is now. Ideally, we should get here. If we're able to get here, we can move up, then to the right, jump, jump, through this door here. 
but it's here I want to be. And maybe this is... Maybe this is the dungeon. Hmm... I was saying that. Could any... Oh! Wait. Look at this. Sand. Sand, right? Cactus. Sand. I reckon we need to get to the bottom, right? Yeah, I think that's I think that's where we need to go. All right, okay, we've gone to slightly the wrong place. Right from Martha's Bay. Yeah, let's have another look at the map actually, because that's good. That's a good point. Um, so how would we get there? Uh, uh, so there is a bridge we can climb up here. Oh. Ah, no, probably not Martha's. I think what we do, yeah, okay. So we go up from here, down here, to the right, lift this rock, down the ladder, move to the right, all the way to the right, get the teleport stone, and then hope that this here is a connection downwards. Yeah. Right, okay, sorry about that. Uh, I just realized it's these staircases look almost exactly like the ones in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Really? Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I, I think we got it. I think we got it there. Uh, DJ, I'm going to have to go. I have school tomorrow. Yeah, don't worry. So do I. <laughs> and Monday is the worst day. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I should come back, though. No problem, Squatty. Have a good night, man. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, bud. Sleep well. Sleep well, friend. You'll figure it out. Yeah, I mean, that, that looks... That looks somewhat logical, right? So, if we can translate in that into real gameplay here, we go this way, charge here. Good plan, good plan, great plan. Boop. Take that, you bugger. Right, so, I should probably grab that heart, actually. Waste not, whatnot, and all that. Uh, right, so, this was the uh, bridge ladder that we could climb down. There we go, take that, pigs! By pigs, I mean moblins. Ooh. I remember these. Goodbye, all. Good. See you later, squaddy. Have a good night. Sleep well. Sleep well. Have fun at school tomorrow. Nice. Okay, cut some grass. Okay. So, what else do we have around here then? Okay, so we have a keyhole. Hug oh, all. Oh. Thank you for the hug, my good friend. <laughs> have a good night. All right, okay, so we have a keyhole, so we can open up the dungeon at the very least, and we have a teleporty thing here, so we can activate this. So now we're able to teleport between Tal Tal, Ukuku, and Marthas, very good. Uh, right, what else do we have here? Don't like fighting these guys, by the way. These guys, I believe, can steal your shield, so... Uh, yeah, good to watch out. Um, I don't think we can jump that. I highly doubt we can jump this. Oh. We've already learned this lesson, DJ. <laughs> you can't do super jumps on water. Right, fair enough. So, how do we get down from here? I don't think we can. Not like that, no, no, we can't do super jumps on uh, uh, over water. Curious. At the very least, it's good that we came over here because we got the, the teleport back home. But I don't think there's anything else to do here. I mean, unless we can throw a rock. Sorry, bomb. Nope. <laughs> All right, <laughs> worth a try. <laughs> Always worth a try. Uh, there's a hole over here, though. Don't mind jumping in this hole. Oh no, the steps. Oh nice. Okay. So where does this take me? To a place I can't really go because I need to get on the other end of that rock. Yeet! I yeet myself right down that hole. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. So. That's not the way to the desert. So what is... 
See, we've got this waterfall here, but we can't swim. We can't swim. But the desert's down here. And we can't get down there from the looks of it. Because, again, we can't swim. Dang. I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this out. I wonder. I wonder. Why can't we swim? Uh, Link just drowns. Um, you require an item called the flippers, I believe. So, uh, yeah. So that's good we pick up? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an item. You, we need flippers in order to swim. Uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Now, you'd think you'd get the flippers from this dungeon here, the uh, the water dungeon, but you need to be able to access the water dungeon in water. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Don't eat my shield. I need it. Even though I never use it. <laughs> I should. Eh, there you go. Oh, what a, what a, what a clink noise that makes. Oh god, oh god, okay. Alright, okay, well I'm not gonna mess with these guys. Hmm. I'm a little lost. Could you guys tell that I might be a little bit lost? <laughs> oh man. Where do we get access to the water temple? You know what, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna call our good friend, the guy on the telephone. Oh, thank you for the big hugs. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. There is no dishonor in asking for help, am I right? So, yeah, let's go, let's go ask the telephone guy. Aw, oh, back in Marbe. All right, Marin, how you doing, Wolf? I just love to sing, what can I say? What do you like to do, Link? I like to get lost. <laughs> lovely, lovely. What a banger. Asking for help is good. Exactly. You are correct. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, what was his name? Arira, I believe. Let's go see what Arira has to say. Bring, bring. Hi, this is Arira. In the Yana Desert, which is located in the southeast of the island. There you go. You will find something called the Angler Key. Hmm. How much more obvious do I have to be? Bye! Click. Alright. So basically he told us what we'd figured out. <laughs> yeah, southeast. So he told us... So is that how we reach it? I think he just basically told us where it is, which is here. So it is this desert. So we need to get onto this landmass. We can't go from Martha's from the looks of it. No, we can't go from Martha's by the looks of it because there's no raft or anything. So, how do we get over there? Hmm. Oh, isn't this curious? It's kind of cut off from everything. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Flippers. Where would we get flippers from? I mean, probably from the water dungeon. But also, the beehive. The honeycomb, even. I know where they are. Oh, did you? What, you found out? Did you Google it? Don't tell me. I need to figure this out. <laughs> um, hmm. You Googled the flippers? Oh, I really want to figure this out. I appreciate that, though. I, I'll, I'll tap out, um, what's that? Is that a slap? I'll, I'll tap out, uh, later probably, but I'm gonna try and figure this out. Uh, alright. We need, we need an idea. We need, we need an idea for sure. So, what's our idea? We need an idea. Also, I want to, I want to see what this area is actually. Yeah, I want to see what this area is. Alright, let's go do that. Let's go do that at the very least. It's not related, but uh, I want to see what that area's got uh, got for me. So, let's go up and then right. 
Let's wander. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Let's go friggin' wander around, shall we? Alright. Um, let's see. What do we have down here, then? No. <laughs> I can't go down there anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we need an item to be able to cross uh, five wide holes like this. So, we can't even get down there right now. Curious. Curious. We need an idea. We defo need an idea. So, we know that we have to go down there. But how do we get down there? Now, there's steps there. But where would those steps... Did we try here? I think we tried that, right? Hmm. Is there Sony and Martha's? I think there was. Okay. All right. All right. Apologies. You, they, they'll expect a lot of this over the coming months that when we play this game. Let's explore Martha's a bit more. Let's explore Martha's a bit more. You know what they say? You, you've never failed if you keep going, right? Or whatever the saying is. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep going. And we'll see if we can figure something out. Now, did I do this area? I believe I did, but I need a reminder as to what was actually over here. Yeah, you'll get it. Yeah, I will. Try my best anyway. Yeah, so we can't go... Can we? No, we just drown. Okay, so we can't go through that area. So that is definitely not a thing. Yeah, it's annoying because it's right there. <laughs> I need to be on that landmass just to the right of me. Uh, okay, let's not get hit. Alright, let's try not to get hit by the electric things. What's that stairwell? Let's try not to fall down the hole as well. At least the music's nice, right? <laughs> Turn that, you pig buggers. Uh, we can't get through there, so, uh, yeah, let's try through here. If I figure this out tonight, I expect a goddamn friggin' hero's, like, reception from you guys, where you guys chanting my name, and, uh, you know, like, waving your arms in the air like you just don't care, and, uh, I want a cake, I want, I want cake, and, uh, we sing the Halo theme? Yeah, do that, do that. Sing, sing the Halo theme and raise me on your shoulders as as I as I uh, as I defeat the evil puzzle of uh, Zelda: Link's Awakening. What did you ever make a cake? It won't reach you. I mean, out of out of most people within this community, it, it probably has the best chance of reaching me, considering that, you know, you're only in the south of England. But, uh, yeah, you're probably still right, right? You'll be stale? Yeah, I suppose. Get it on, like, a, a, a daily thing. <laughs> get, pay, pay, like, 80, 80 pounds for a courier to get it there straight away. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Um, right, okay. Dresses are scary. Yeah, they are actually. They are. Uh, yeah, I only. Uh, I don't really let my address out too much, so uh, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, you ma bake the cake for yourself and then eat it in, in my honor. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's down pays. I thought we had it with this bit up here. I thought this bit was what we needed. Like, I don't have the key already, do I? No, I don't have the key. Yeah, I defo don't have the key. Hmm. You're close to where you need to be? I'll accept that. I'll accept that as a tip. I'm close to where I need to be. So... Don't tell me any more than that. Let's have a look. Let's 
have a look around. Probably gone completely the wrong way, don't worry. But, uh... I'll have a look around. Yeah, see, because we can't climb up there. And I doubt they would be in here, right? They wouldn't be in here. No. Surely not. No, they wouldn't be in there. They would not be in there. Uh, okay. Wait, are they? Are they in there? Are the flippers in Canala uh, Palace? Castle? Are they actually in there? They're in there, aren't they? Alright, okay. Those dots make me think that they're in here. <laughs> Let's go have a look. <laughs> I thought I found everything in here. What did I miss? Is that platform area called... Animal Village? What, the one that you just saw? No. No, it wasn't. Um, Animal Village. Yeah, that was Animal Village. Okay. So, you didn't... So that wasn't what you think. DJ, here's knocking at the door. I wonder who it'll be. Open the door. Come here. I've been looking for you. Your hands are like... <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh... Oh, it's a cake. Well, that's it then. <laughs> I like that. Nice. I love that courier guy. Oh, man. Um... Alright. KMS has got me curious right now. Got me curious. Right, I need a sign. I'm looking for a sign right now. You have got me curious, young lady. Uh... No, not that sign. Ow! Stop hurting me! <laughs> Uh, there's a sign that I'm looking for. I feel like you are in the right place a little while ago. You're probably right. I'm looking for something specific right now, though, that might help me. Richard's Villa. No, I saw it before. I saw it before, and I'm trying to remember what it, where it was. Uh... La, da, 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 da. No, not that way. Not that way. Um, and we've been up there. You don't give me any more clues, do you? Ulrira, you don't give me any more clues, do you? Uh, this is Ulrira. You know does it? No, okay, right. <laughs> I will get this. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself, though. Hopefully you guys are... Uh, having a good time. Whether you're just listening to me, whether you're watching the stream, hopefully, uh, hopefully everything is awesome. Animal Village. Ow. But I can't get over that. I was having a good time. Thank you, thank you. So Animal Village. Everything is awesome, thanks. All right, Animal Village is to the right. But I can't get there. And I'm getting my friggin' ass handed to me. Oh, man. Can you long jump over there? Oh, hey, Kane. Um, no, unfortunately. Uh, so you can obviously do the long jump with the Pegasus boots and the Rocks Feather. But what happens with water jumps is you end up kind of flopping. Because there's an animation where you just push right and you do that jump. And uh, that's what happens when you try and do a super jump. Oh! 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 Is that what you were thinking there, KMS? Is that what you know? Oh! Okay. How you doing, by the way, Kane? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you're well. Uh, alright, okay. Alright, I feel rejuvenated. I feel rejuvenated. Oh, man. That one friggin' bush. <laughs> that one bush. Not too bad, just chilling. Bedtime soon? Yeah, same for me, dude. I got work tomorrow. Uh, just wanted to try and get at least three hours done tonight. Oh, man. It's good seeing you play Fortnite today. Big fan of that, man. You, uh... You and Nova, you always work so well together. Always impressed. 
Uh, Alright, let's uh, let's see if we can get a bit more work done. This isn't what I've seen described, but maybe it'll work. Well, I mean, we're now on the other continent, which is awesome. So you remember those steps that we saw up here? They connected to that bush here. So this is a good start, because we're at least now on a similar continent. Nice. Alright, we can work with this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I don't know how to kill many of these things. <laughs> wait, can I just jump slash? Oh no, they just bugger off, don't they? Alright, okay. Oh wait, what have we got here? Uh, welcome to the animal village. Okay. Alright, I feel safe now. Alright, bunny. Ah, yeah. oh, Sai. On such a nice day, we need a song from Marin. Oh, Marin. Oh, she's all the way back in Marbe. Oh, okay. What have we got in El what, what have we got here? <laughs> You're in the desert? There's a way to get there to the south, but you might not be able to get through if that lazy walrus is in the way. <gasps> oh, the walrus! Oh, the walrus! Yes! I remember the walrus! Interesting. Okay, alright. You're doing it. I'm friggin' doing it. Oh, I'm flying. I'm. Oh, look at. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at this. It's like Titanic. We've got Leonardo Di Crocchio, and we've got uh, Kate. H Hippo. Hippo's. Hippo's. Li that doesn't quite work so well. All right, Kate. How you doing? Oh, Hippo model. <laughs> Go away. God, really is Kate Winslet. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I am. School, 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 school Donovich. This is probably a reference I'm not getting. What's he painting? Uh, he's supposedly maybe painting the the hippo, but that doesn't look like a hippo on the canvas. The mermaid statue by the bay is my masterpiece. <laughs> to tell you the truth, that work is not complete. The art is difficult for you to grasp, is it not? All right, there you go. All right, okay, cool. Well, he's nice. So basically, if we find the mermaid statue, there's something that we need to need to add to it. A cool Donovich. A cool. Am I not getting that? Should I know that? Oh, can you hear the music, by the way? It's basically like. Dogs and cats just making sounds. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, did you know Animal Village and Mabe Village are sister cities? Yeah, even though they aren't large enough to be called cities. Anyway, I heard from a very good source that they have a dream shrine in Mabe and that it has something good inside. Is that true? It is, but I can't really do anything to it right now. I can now that I've got the Pegasus boots, but I couldn't. Alright, Lolf. You don't know the proper etiquette when dealing with a lady, do you? You should have brought flowers or something. Then I might be more inclined to talk with you. Oh yes, in my case, hibiscus are best. Okay. I mean, I got a, I got a honeycomb. Oh god. Anyone get an Animal Crossing feel from this? If you've played Animal Crossing before? <laughs> oh man. Okay, cool. What else have we got around here? Uh... Oh, oh, this place looks grand. Oh, oh yeah. Also, I'm not doing my my duty as Link. There you go. No pots for you. <laughs> All right. What else do we got? What else we got? All right, kid. I can't go to Marbe because of all the monsters. I hope Marin is all right. Yeah, I hope so too. Actually, Marin's just fine. She's just chilling. Oh, look at the big old bear! All right, fella. Whoa! Hi, yo! Hey, you! Is that possibly an honeycomb you have? It is. Look at his little oven mitts, by the way. Adorable. I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? Oh, you bet your ass I'll swap it for a pineapple. Yeah! You exchanged the honeycomb for a pineapple. It's not as sweet, but it's delicious. I like him. I know, right? Isn't he adorable? <laughs> also, I'm hungry for soup now. Oh, yeah, you are. Look at that. It's delicious looking, right? 
Hi ho! Yeah, I know! That tub of goo is asleep right in, right in the way of Yana Desert. Well, once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her singing. That slob would wake up with a jump if he heard her sing, for sure. <laughs> right, so we need to get Marin to come with us. And so a small part of him, but it's pure. Yeah. He's a lovely boy. A lovely boy indeed. Ooh, perfection. Look at this. So we get ourselves a teleport pad. So we can go from Animal Village to a Cuckoo pra uh, Prairie. Vamos! Alright, beautiful. Oh, I did it! Guys, I'm doing it! I'm solving the puzzle! Oh my god! Oh. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for believing in me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, oh, Mar oh, Marin. Where's Marin gone? Huh? Marin's not with you? What happened to her? Oh, God. Um, Marin? Ma Marin? Oh, and thank you for being proud. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, wait, there was a letter on the table. Maybe she left a letter. I was believing you. Oh, thank you. Marin! Where's Marin? At the beach. Oh! Oh! Guys, she's at the beach! Marin's at the beach, guys! Oh! Oh, sorry, Bow Wow. Oh. In fact, there's something I want to do in here first. Before we go on our beach date with Marin, um. Book on top of shelf. We are too small. Aha. The Hidden Power of Color. Do you want to read this book? I will, after I read H7's comment. And KMS's. We go into the beach. Woo! Yeah. It's an ambush, DJ. Don't listen to it. Nah, nah. It's lovely. Marin's great. There's no ambush whatsoever, hopefully, probably. Ah, uh, that's so great. Yeah. Yeah, just knocking it off. I remember that. Um... So the interesting thing about The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past is, sorry, Link's Awakening, is that there was a Game Boy version and there was a Game Boy Color version. And I believe the Game Boy Color version added uh, stuff to it which was which makes use of the color. I assume that with the colors that the Game Boy Color produced, I assume that this game would also add whatever the colored version had in the game, if that makes sense at all. Um, but yes, do you want to read this book? There's a new world of color under the five gravestones. Three up, four right, five up, two left, one down. Try with all your might and you may open a new path. Are you worthy to receive the power of color? What's this world of color about? Maybe you should try it and see. We'll come back to that, but it's good to know that it's there. Note, if there really is an ambush, I did not know about it. I'm just someone who likes making things up. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. It's it, it's our best girl, Marin, right? It's just Marin. It's all good. Marin wouldn't set up any kind of ambush or anything. Knocking that book down was short people problems. <laughs> yeah. yeah, short people. They grab the shield and they just charge up. They're like... <laughs> just like charge into the friggin' uh, bookshelf. Amazing. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, gonna, yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go. Oh, ah! goddammit. La -da 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 Alright, so I think we can get to Marin from over here. Uh, and. Boop, and no, over here. There's like a. I think we've actually been here already today, which is funny. But I think it's here, if I remember correctly. Yes, here we go. All right, Lolf. Oh, Link. I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? No. No, I will. I will. Cutscene? Oh, cutscene! Oh, look at us two. I wonder 
where these coconut trees come from. Taryn says there is nothing beyond the sea. But I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart beat. Well, sorry, my heart skipped a beat. I thought this person has come to give us a message. Ooh, she gave me a cheeky look. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could go. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people and steal trips from people who walk across beaches in England. If I wish to if I wish to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. You'd rather be an albatross? <laughs> nice. Cuteness? Yeah. It's cute, isn't it? Hey, are you listening? Link! Are you, are you listening to me? Not really, love, no. I'm listening to this this cool jam. Nah, I'm kidding. I am listening. Aww. I want to know everything about you. <laughs> I can't do cute girl laughs. I can't really do a cute girl accent, but I definitely can't do cute girl laughs. Huh? The walrus wants me to go to him? Well, all right, let's go. Man, right, keeps looking at Link. Link, Link. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for interrupting that, but I'm lifting up Marin. <laughs> hey guys, look what I found! I found a girl. Guys, I found a girl. Now I I, I don't know what function she has, but maybe she'll help me somehow. <laughs> Oh god, she's mad? Yeah. <laughs> we obtained the Marin! Yeah! He's looking at like, Link? The? <laughs> yeah, Link's like, what? Put her in your balls po- Oh, god. <laughs> you got Marin! Is this your big chance? Big chance for what? Yay! Alright, come on, Wolf. Alright. We're off on an adventure. Alright, come on, Wolf. Are you sure that's how you uh, want to get a date? <laughs> what, lifting her up in the air and then sending her to a dangerous walrus, walrus in a, a desert? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, you can't go this way, can you? Alright, come with me, love. Come with me. I got you. Don't worry. I'll have you know, ladies and gentlemen, that I am a proper gentleman. Isn't that right, Marin? Alright, there we go. Okay. Look, there's a monkey. Hey, Marin, look, a monkey. Hey, Marin. Oh, 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 God, okay. Oh, go, oh, Marin, 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 come over here. All right, cool. All right, now we're doing good. We're good. All right. Ow. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All right, Marin, run quickly. Oh, look at her go. Oh, she's like Sonic. Beautiful. DJ best day, yeah. <laughs> Where are we going on our date, Dan? Well, we're going to the beach. Oh, that's so nice. Where we will find dangerous urchins and squids that fire rocks at us. Oh, well, well, that's not quite as good. And then after that, I'm going to take you to a giant walrus that will probably eat you. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, but there's bunnies in a village. Oh, yay. Ah, uh, but also you may die. Oh. The end. <laughs> Wait, can Myron teleport? Marin, jump in my pocket for a second. Here we go. Marin, I'll help you, Link. Link picks Marin up and starts running. <laughs> Link, wait, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, she twirls with us. Ah, oh, top class twirlers. Beautiful. There you go. Oh, Link, I love tra teleporting through space and time with you. That was wonderful. Hey, Link, could you hurry up? My feet are getting wet. So you put her in your pocket? Yeah, it would have been handy to do that, right? Oh, Link, I love this place. There's bunnies and everything. Oh, man, can we talk to one? Yeah, over here, Marin. I, but this one was very excited about you. Ah, oh, it's her! Little Marin! Yeah, you like that? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, can we, like, introduce you to the entire clan? Let's, let's see, what about you? 
Ah, it's her, little Marin. Okay, that's enough of that then. That's enough of that. Right, um, hmm. So, how does one get to this walrus? Woof, 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 woof. Yeah, isn't that music just a banger? <laughs> Love it. All right. It took us a long time, ladies and gentlemen, but we finally figured it out. Hello so much. Yeah, make it your ringtone. <laughs> we figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. My God. Oh, there you go. I felt like I was close, but I, I needed the small hints from KMS there. And Ulrira, of course. So, yeah, thank you, KMS, for that. All right. Walrus Boy, you ready for this? Yeah, it's that lazy walrus. Shall we give him a little surprise? Yeah, tickle his belly. No? All right. I mean, we got to explore Taltal Heights. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's a big fan of that, isn't he? Oh, he's a proper big fan. Oh. Man overboard. Oh. <laughs> wow. He certainly woke with a start. Huh? Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always. Haha. <laughs> Link, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? Well they love, well they. I loves it, yeah! He's so round, I know, right? Such a, such a punchy boy. <laughs> Little bunny, yeah! I belong here. I belong here. This is my, my village. Oh, wait, going the wrong way. Uh, what, do we go over there now, or do we go and check Yana? I think we'll go over here now. Um, oh, here we go. Isn't that lovely? You just wouldn't get this in modern day, would you? Imagine walking to a park, just seeing a young lady singing. And she's got little animals just watching her as they sing. Wouldn't that be amazing? No. Oh. People are too busy on their Twitter nowadays to do that. Oh, I want to talk to the bear. It seems to be totally absorbed in Marin's song. Yeah, that toucan as well. Yeah, he's a bit absorbed. There you go. Sorry to uh, disturb you, uh, sorry to disturb the concert, but Marin, how you doing? <laughs> oh, Link, I often come to sing to this village too. Keeps opening his mouth. Yeah, he's so amazed, isn't he? <laughs> it seems that just about everyone loves my ballad of the windfish. Link, what is your favorite song? Um, Don't Stop Believing by Journey. It's not true, by the way. Uh, there you go. There you go. Oh, there was one here and they racked out the red. <laughs> yes, Marion, do you know Ragnar out the red? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yana Desert, everyone. Oof. Oh, okay. Another Mario enemy. I can't remember what these are called, though. <gasps> oh, thank you for the 500 unicorn bits. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much for those. I appreciate it very, very much. You are bloody wonderful. Thank you for your generosity. You are friggin' awesome. Now the yellow in Mario. Uh, yeah, they are. They are yellow in Mario, but they're the same concept. I think there is a green one, maybe in Mario Three though. Not too sure. Would this come out at the same time? As no, Mario Three was earlier than this. But still, it's it's the same concept. You did it! Yay! We made it to Yana! Uh, I'm not quite ready to end the stream yet, so we'll have a quick explore of Yana here, and we'll see what we can find. I'm going to imagine that's death. Uh, let's see what we've got over here. Uh, absolutely nothing. Woo! Alright, let's uh, duck and dodge through there. Alright, should we go into a giant sinkhole? Annoyance! You are only getting in the way! Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Alright, Fowler. Alright, Propeller Butt. Uh... Hello? Yeah. Uh... Oh, right, you actually... There we go. Have one of those. What? Uh... Blow up! Okay. Timing is hard. 
Unfair? Kinda. Oh, he's cute? Is he cute? I guess. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I can actually get into the sand. Uh, I don't know how you kill him, though. Uh, go for the head? Yeah! Oh, no! Oh, Link. You big silly dum-dum. Oh. I'm in the, uh, the antlion's lair now. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Ooh! Ah! There you go! Yeah! This is absolutely fine! Thank you for helping me! Oh, we got four pieces of heart as well, so we actually get another heart container. Very good. Remember, four quarters equals a hole. And so, four heart pieces equals a hole. Very good indeed. Alright. Um, any of you alive? Nope. Okay. Smash. Uh, don't need that heart. It was worth it. For the creepy crawlies? I know, right? Yeah. Bloody creepy crawlies. Oh, hello. Sea bears for a foam. Sleep bears dreams. Both end in the same way. Crash. Bandicoot. Right. Uh, let's see what's down here, shall we? So we're looking for a key, remember? We're looking for a key. The angler key. Or maybe flippers. Flippers or an angler key. I'll take both right now. Preferably the flippers. Um, but definitely an angler key. Right, what else do we have? Oh, hello. Everything is dangerous. I'm going to assume I have to kill this guy up here. Yeah. Let's go. Let's make that assumption. Right. Right. You here, bud? You back for more? Yeah, I am. I'll kick your ass. Alright, okay. Alright. We're going to play this super slowly. Oh, God. Play it slowly. Uh... Where are you going? Okay. Alright, we're gonna get you, Propeller Butt. We're gonna get you. We're gonna take a lot of damage in the process, but we're gonna get you. Alright, don't mind you going over there for a bit. Oh, Alright, okay. Where to now, fella? Where to now? There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get my fairy on. In fact, can I use this from the menu? No. Okay, I'm gonna use my fairy. Alright, cool. Uh, can't quite reach that. Alright, I don't want to sink again, so we're kind of going to play this carefully. If he goes to anywhere near the center hole, we'll, uh, we'll leave it and we'll wait for him to jump again. Alright, so this should be somewhat close to us. Okay. I don't know how many hits it takes, but we're in for the long haul. Yeah, come over here, lad. There you go. There we go. Tear that, you big bugger. Smash! Aha! The angler key. No, 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 no! Oh, oh that was close. <laughs> Alright, that was close. Okay, so. Oh, the key. We have the key. Now. How does that help us with the water dungeon? Because from the looks of it, the water dungeon, we actually can't get in there without flippers, because we can't swim. Now, maybe once we put the key in the in the hole, maybe it makes a path for us. Got another seashell, by the way. Um, hmm, I'm not too sure. Does it tell us how many seashells we have, by the way? Yes, eight. Right. I believe we need 26. I think it's 26. Not too sure. But yes, we have the key at the very least. So, yeah. Thing went sailing, can't swim. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> or maybe he had flippers on his little raft thing, or his little boat, but he lost them in the storm. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, hello. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's our owly friend, Mr. Owl! Hoot! The shape of the key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Go now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top, and you will reach your goal. A leap from the top? Curious. Curiouser and curiouser, Mr. Bond. Alright, okay, let's do it. Um, so we need the teleport. We'll take the teleport. Hey, Marin, I did a thing! Oh, Link, I often... Oh, okay, alright, okay. Oh, lovely, bloody lovely. Wait, no, I need to hear it again. Meow. 
meow, 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 meow. What? 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 Oh my god. Frickin' dope. I love so much. Isn't that great? <laughs> Amazing. Alright, okay, so let's go to Tal Tal Heights. So, uh, I believe this is where the lock was. This is where we put the key, I believe. Uh, right, so where was it exactly? There it is. All right, let's move through all these people and let us put the key in the door. All right. This animal sound kind of agitates, agitates me, but it also sounds like it's flexing at me. It, it, it's just a, it's just a wicked cool song, right? That'll be in my head when I wake up in the morning. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> right, so we were slightly wrong. Um, we now have access to the water dungeon. Um, but how do we get there? Now it said take a leap of faith, didn't it? So we need to get up here. So we need to get up. There. Alright, okay. Uh, I, if I don't get up here tonight, I won't remember tomorrow. Well, next week. So, I'm going to try and get up here. I think it's here. I think this is where we need to go. So, we'll teleport to... God. Uh, somewhere. But we need to get over here. Oh wait, no, we can just go back. We can just go up the ladder. Alright, no, we'll go up the ladder. Alright, yeah. If I if I don't do this now, I'm gonna forget next week. So let's get this done now. Uh because you know how it is. I mean, I don't know. Good years don't stream games. But um like you you kinda do something and you leave it off in a very obscure place and then next week you spend like twelve like like twelve. Like fifteen minutes trying to figure it out. Twelve? I always say twelve for some reason when I'm thinking of a number to say. All right, let's do it. Uh, take that, though. Just keep moving left. Yeah. I'm not good at left. Right is my thing. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, just keep moving left. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to stream one day when I don't own Windows. Windows ruins the rendering, apparently. Does it? Oh, I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> well, now, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very good at right. Left is... Left is my nemesis. Uh... Uh, I've done it wrong again, haven't I? Uh, I've done it wrong. I've, no, no, I've not done it wrong. I've not done it wrong. You've done it right, DJ. Just push that down. There you go. There you go. Right, so... Oh, God. Okay. Charge through all of these. Up we go. And... Can't do anything there. Where does this take me again? Uh, yes, this is the right way. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I am so so sorry for um, how 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 uh, troubling this uh, the stream has been in terms of me not knowing where to go. Hopefully, you guys have not minded me puzzling and all that. You've done amazing. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's not been too frustrating. But uh, yeah, eight. Right, now, where does this go though? Just to check. All right, so um, this is the yeah. So this is the uh, the exit that we found before. Uh, I don't want to go there just in case a rock respawns, but that was the exit that we found before. And uh, yeah, this is the fourth dungeon, the uh, the fish dungeon, I guess, the water dungeon. <laughs> All right, um, you know it'd be. I, I, you know what? I think it'd probably be a good idea to call it there. I think we've done alright tonight. Angler. Angler Dungeon. Yes, sorry. I'll probably still call it the Fish Dungeon, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I think we've done well tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've done well tonight. Oh, man. <sighs> Big stretch. Biggest stretch. Oh. I've been playing a lot of Octopath Traveler recently. There you go. But, uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hello. Don't like this music. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the Zelda stream today. Thank you all for being so chatty and wonderful. You guys are friggin' awesome. So, uh, yeah. 
CDJ, see you everyone. Eight seven. have a good night, have a good week, man. I'll see you next time. Thanks for the stream, thanks for the stream. No problem, guys, no problem. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully it's not been a hopefully it's not been too annoying seeing me struggle, but uh, yeah, we got some stuff done today at the main uh, that's the main thing really. As long as we're always progressing, that's the main thing. Uh, anyway, as ever, uh, I'll be back at it again next Friday when we will complete the Hearts of Stone DLC for Witcher. We will strike through the main quest of Oblivion on Saturday and we will go into the Angler Dungeon on Sunday with Link's Awakening. Anyway, have a great week. Never annoying. Oh, thank you. <laughs> have a great week, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you all next time. Farewell, everybody. Farewell.